Welcome to the deepest, darkest archives. Peruse through heroic tales of adventure, a new ship's maiden voyage into the horizon, and terrible, terrible aim. All this and more in the first chapter of the Dungeon Chronicles. If you guys are watching, the reason I'm not on camera right now and I sound like this, because my cats like to try to jump inside my computer and it's made of tempered glass and they bonk against it. <laughs> oh, bonk. oh, tempered glass. Got the bonk. same case. My man, the spare is no expense. Here. Tempered glass. I know, tempered glass. That's the best hey, kind of glass. I think tempered glass, you know, I think it gets a bad rep, you know? I'm the DM. I've got a cat in my arms. My name is Braxton. I do this of the Dungeon Chronicles. Hello, welcome. Good time. I don't know what's going on here. Do you guys like cats? Oh, yeah, brother. Yeah, I do. man. Hello, my sweet, sweet child. She's standing on one of my hands. <laughs> How did you do that? Didn't even, <laughs> didn't even pass it over to Ryan. <laughs> Passing it over to Ryan. He's What's also up, everybody? Ormano here. I'm so excited to be in this episode of the Dungeon Chronicles. You don't sound like it. Dude, I cannot wait for this episode of the Dungeon Chronicles. Pass it. You're going to see Lion, Lion King up? for a second there. No. Passing it over to Jamie, the one, the only. Hello, Jamie. my name is Zerda, and I have only lived to be on this episode of the Dungeon Chronicles. That's kind of foreboding. <laughs> oh, no, I don't like that. Passing it over to Kenneth. Kenneth, who do you play? Yo, what up? My name is Kenneth. I play Salty, the half-orc pugilist that's having a tiff, finding a skiff. Let's yes. go. Okay. So I wonder what podcast you listen to, Kenneth. I don't know, man. I listen to a lot of them because I drive a lot. So, I'm Oh, and start... passing it, pass it to Braxton. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm multitasking right now. I'm getting a laser light so that cats um don't destroy my computer and ruin this episode and render it terrible. Just like, you know, things could have been rendered terrible with our downed friend Miner if it weren't for Armano being all like super savvy medical dude, <laughs> figuring out how to how to I mean. use this fancy, fancy freaking uh syringe thing and stabbing himself and testing it on a guard without warning him, stabbing without warning, like what the hell, dude? And you kind of stabilize him and things are okay. You know? It's it's don't worry, it's not like the Walking Dead. I planned this from the beginning. <laughs> I planned That's this from why the we had that conversation. Sounds I see very, now. Sounds very convincing. No, but really, that's, that's what the weapon does. But if you, if you if you did die and you got the weapon, you'd know. I mean, you could just. I no, mean, you don't. he's. He Do doesn't use a rapier. No, he uses a rapier. Exactly. Not me. Exactly. Okay. I don't. After that, um, what do. the hell even happened? I mean, Salty went off and sat in front of the inn for a bit until Bardish came back, all kind of broken up. One of his arm blades is gone. Bay Had blade. some thonks. And then, you know, he eventually went on, it wasn't in this exact order, to find a land skiff sitting out there by a bunch of Chimera that, you know, were probably killed by Bardish himself, the land, the land, the man, the myth, the, the legend. Bro, Bardish OP, please nerf. Kind of is OP. And then, you know, Rock was buried. Denton gave a heartfelt kind of, you know, I appreciate everything that you did. And this, I'm only here because you are. Thank you. You made me. Ormano dug the hole. Major filled it and gave a weapon for the moment there. Kind of progression. It's good to go. Awesome. They jump over to the inn. Um, and there's a lizard dude. A lizard dude? That's all that needs to be said. Lizard did. <laughs> lizard did. He claims Fulger is this man, this legend, this myth. Kind of is a myth. He's got blue scales. He's a blue dragon born. Claimed to be family with Zerda. Kind of sketchy. Party seemed to be sketched out. So they did a zone of truth. Found out some things. Found out some things that weren't also things because you didn't say them, so you didn't find them out. And then they kind of took a rest after Zerda got paid for... Well, Fish got paid for a all of the bartending work that he did. Gold. And that's where we are. So you guys have leveled up, and also, like, it's a new dawn. It's a new day. A I new started day. that episode. I literally did this for the last episode. Yep. I'm sorry. Nice name drop, man. You know, it's, it's okay. So you know what's going to happen? No, you know I know what's gonna happen. Waking We're up. We're gonna. What is what is this? We're gonna do I'm a like, time skip. Boom! Up. We saw all of our problems and like off screen. What is this song? <gasps> we'll set the mood. Oh, set the mood. Put some Bum. jazz on. Hello? Also, there was a brief dragon sighting. 
There yeah, was a brief dragon saying, I forgot about that. Uh, you, also, uh, Miner is alive. Yeah, Miner is alive. I don't know For if now. Said that, but <laughs> before, before I fucking dies. kill him. Y'all can't hear the music, can you? Nope. No. Neither can I. Wow. So Give me a Uno momento. Ryan oh, can it's... cut this out if he wants to. Bom bomb. Dun dun. Music. What did my man do between like uh, like five minutes in between? Literally nothing. It was the cats, bro. Must Probably be. was. Hold on. Oh, I think I know. Do you? Remember I left Discord voice and video chat broadcast stream. Also, I have a figure for fish. You know. It's, yeah, I saw it. It was very on? cute. It's a possum pullback car. Oh, nice. Yeah. Now you just it need a jar to put in. There's that. There we go. Yes. Where'd my jar go? <laughs> oh, it's full of rainwater. <laughs> oh, now we'll display. Wow. Yay. Nice. Ooh. I don't know what happened there. It was weird. That's some bass. It's a bass. Mass effect. This is a magical force for the wrong, wrong game. <laughs> wrong game. Wrong game, so we're not going to do that. We're going to do this one. So you guys, I don't know if you found a restful sleep or not. You're kind of in a weird environment. The inn has been demolished. There's makeshift beds and the kind of futons laying around amongst the dirt and the rubble of this battle with this weird wind contraption body horror -y thingy majig it's been quelled for now it dug itself into the stage and within the ground itself um or mono yeah you have a dream okay this is not a jojo reference <laughs> so sorry it's probably even before that my mind be didn't even reference. go there it went to les mis <laughs> There's all there's a third option. Mine went Martin to King Martin too. Luther King. Yeah, see, you know, we've got a we've, we've got a wide variety of all people. I just thought I had a dream. <laughs> there's the final one. Um give me a charisma saving throw. Right, You'd so love to see the saving yeah, throw. As you enter into this Damn. dream. Let's go, Romano. A ten. Ten. Okay. Five plus five. Uh, that is ten. Quick maths. The dream begins, um, and you're aware that you're dreaming. Okay. In this situation, but it's hard to see based off of your throw that you've done before. Visions come in and out. You see clouds, um, a bright sun, and several figures that seem to be humanoid in shape with um, something on their backs. You're not too sure. It appears to be the scene of... There's some person on a table surrounded by three other people. And they seem to be working on them in some way, shape, or form. And that's where your dream cuts off. Oh. Okay. Super quick. All right. And you wake up feeling comforted by this odd, strange dream. And you see bustling around James, making sure everybody's taken care of, has water if they need to. There's a lot of people here. He seems a bit tired, a bit downtrodden. Um, Zerda, Salty, you guys come too as well. My cats go crazy. They're running Good. around there. Good morning. I crawl out of the hole that I went oh, to sleep in. Jesus. Does she usually do that? <clears throat> she likes sleeping yeah. in small spaces. I have to be fully protected or else the night terrors will come for me. That oh. sounds awful. Uh, well, yeah, um, hey, um, James. Yes. Can you still do the um the you, the thing with the, the brain thing? Bring bring the food. Oh, yes, yes, I can do that always. Um just simple eggs and ham would be on all we've got today. I mean, that's all I need. And Are some we going to go please. Are we Some going survive. to go to the other inn? Um, I don't. Why? I don't need to. I just, I just want to know. The problem with that right now is it's taken a lot of Charlotte's powers to keep this place up and running. And while we are repairing the town itself, unfortunately, the residents of the other inn uh, had to leave for a moment. Oh. I don't know where all they right. went, but they all have their own home outside of this home. It's our home. So, 
They'll be fine. Uh, just to inform you, Major has been working out all morning in preparation for leaving. I think she's excited. I don't know if you plan on taking oh, her. Good. Interesting. How's Miner? She's just getting prepped. Miner's good. He's resting up and Cadence hasn't left his side. Um, How's Charisse? Charisse, um, I think the guards have just been working on the wall for the entire night. How's Ten Ten? Okay, good. <laughs> oh, just, I mean, should I take notes every time we do this? Ten Ten. How, how's Esme? <laughs> have Esme, you met Folger? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where Esme goes you, during these sorts of things. She's kind of tricky. How's Ten Ten? Her shop. Ten <laughs> Ten Ten is good. Um, okay, good. She was here for a moment, but I think she went out a bit probably to gather some sure. things from. Rock shop, if she's planning on leaving with you all. Rock shop. By the way, rock shop. <laughs> Are you all planning on leaving soon? It would be sad to see you go, but I Yes, we're leaving today. Uh, mm-hmm. Post haste. Yeah. Is something yeah. the matter? Oh, I guess not well, the most hospitable place at the moment. Uh, we just have things to do. I mean, yeah. yeah, I kind of got stabbed through the chest about 20 feet from where I'm standing right now, so I'd like to kind of take a breather from this town. And there's a That's queen right. You can still us. take a breather. That's true. She's waiting on a lot of people right now. I'm very curious as to what kind of state she's in at the moment. I've asked Charlotte because she's met with her before. Oh. So in theory, oh. we would be able to just go straight there, but she refuses. As long as she yeah. can get Give me what I need. Is she fairy ass over there? She refuses to do so. Charlotte Even us? or the queen? Charles. Charlotte. 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 <laughs> Even for other people? I've, I mean, plenty of people have come through here and found out about it, and she just refuses. She'd rather let people I mean, die in the event horizon than just ferry them across? Um, Seems weird. She has interesting, she has interesting views on the queen. I... I don't pry too much. It's a bit of a traumatic experience from her, but as far sure, as she's just, concerned, she thinks... My point of view is just, you know, conflicting views on the Queen, hundreds of people dying on the <laughs> horizon. Again, Seems from her point of view, going to the Queen means death. I imagine so there's more wish... to the story that we don't know. Hmm. So, um, Regardless, we're, yeah, we're probably out today. Yeah. Thank I'm gonna, for food. I'm going to go find Tintin. Yeah, yeah, go and let her know what our plans are. Yes. Cool. Can somebody give me a handful of eggs for fish? Well, I was planning on giving you all some rations before you headed out, so... Oh, that'd be great. Oh, that's very Just nice of you. Make sure you all are okay on the trip. See can I can... have a very small bag for fish? Yes, of course. Thank you. And seems like he's already had these prepared. They're all just lined up on oh. a Is makeshift Is there like a tiny countertop. little backpack to put on fish? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you guys can grab those. It's, um... Yeah. It's a lot. It's about 10 days of rations. Oh, okay. Thanks, man. Not that we where's, track where's that ration? as much, but just for posterity's sake. You know? I yeah. have... I had none, no rations, apparently. I bought a bunch of rations, so I'm up to 13 rations now because I bought extra. Oh, you did? I forgot about that. Mm-hmm. So... Which also I'm going to add tiny backpack of rations for fish. If, uh, if we don't see you before we leave, um, one of the better inns I've stayed at. Hopefully it comes back uh, like a phoenix and is even better still. I appreciate the I... compliment. Leave a review on Yelp for... I'm sorry, what? I'll go outside and I'll start what? screaming that it's a good place. Yes, Yelp, that's what I meant. Yelp out on yeah. the streets saying that the Mosey on Inn is the greatest place ever. I appreciate that. I hope that we meet again because you are a good friend to me and Fish. I hope you are a good friend to this inn as well. And uh, Bardis to wasn't sure as to whether or not you were going to bring him. Of course. Um, okay. I mean, I'll let him more know. likely we're going to bring him than we're going to bring the major, but... I, he has an interesting proposition for you, so just um, hear him what out is, before you head out. Like he's what full of propositions. Not? Yeah, what does he it's not? What he does, yes. Um, and then outside of that, I mean, you're all set to go, I suppose. Just bring who you wish. No, right. Uh, there still is... An odd person kind of skulking about town. If you wish to bring them for any reason, no. they told me to let you know. Is that a bird Ooh. person wearing a brown cloak? I said his name was Fulger. If they ask you, no, is our response. <laughs> okay. I, I, I have five or mono. Um, said he'd figured you'd say that. I would oh, did like to sp- I'd like to speak to him before we go, though. We are, we're traveling to the same place just separately. 
Okay, well, he uh, tends to be hanging out at the inn as well, but he's not here at the moment. Um, probably just try Town Square. He's probably. I'm trying to sure catch he'll you find me. He's obsessed with me. He did seem that way. Yeah, um, it's kind of weird. He said preferably Zerda. But yeah, I think he has a, a crush on me or something. I don't know if it's quite like that, but... I mean, he kind of said he was like a brother or a cousin, so that would be kind of fucked up. <laughs> I was like, where are you going with that? Well, uh, I guess this is goodbye for now. Thanks for yep. figuring stuff out with the forest and Thanks handling everything as you did. not reading our minds as often. Yeah, yes, I did not do that often. Thank you for the food. <laughs> of course. I forgive you for reading my mind. There's not much to read. Yes, I know. Yes. Oh. I'm, I'm going to hug his leg because it's all I can reach. Pats you on the head. And then Fish is going to climb up his body and like give him a little kiss on the cheek, a little mousy kiss. Ooh, uh, tickles. Take care of this town, yeah. all right? Someone's got to. I'll do my best. Yeah. We're not, we're not going to be here, so uh, I guess that falls to someone else. I'm mm. going to huck, uh, huck the bag over my shoulder and give James a firm handshake. Again, one of the better ends, even, even accounting for the, uh, for the ending. Still one of the better ones I've been for to, the, so for congratulations. The ending. <laughs> All right, I walk out. <laughs> Bye, uh, Salty. On the way out, I'll, I'll flick him two silver pieces for the nights and stuff that we didn't pay for. Appreciate it. Good, give, but not not that good for me to pay unwillingly. Give Charlotte a hug on the leg for me. I was trying to come up with a witty response, but it might just come off as... Creepy? Weird. Yes. 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 I will let her know you said goodbye. To Lou. Okay, bye. bye. I back out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> uh... So- <laughs> <laughs> Not breaking so the eye contact. The second you guys leave, <laughs> like immediately, um, yes! leaning, Bonish, against, what is it? <laughs> leaning against the wall as you guys come out, um, the only wall that's literally standing here. Well, Falls well, over. well. Look, uh, look who's look who's decided. Bardish, you're coming along. Come on. Well, I hold out shit. my hand. Was gonna give you guys my arm and test you that better out not on be the, the thing if you the... wanted to, but. Okay, you better not be fibbing with your uh, plan to get through this event horizon yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, I've never tried it, but, you know. Well, we'll better work, because we're doing do our best. Hey, um, are you, uh, Bardish, do you know if you have, like, some aura around you or something? Because every time I, I, I know you're <laughs> there, but you just, I don't see you, but I just know you're there. I think it's the smell. I'm not the... He, like, sniffs his um, mandible arm thing. Uh, you smell like an old barn, but, like, in a good way. Yeah, I'm usually pretty popular with the ladies, but uh, it's a musk. Oh, right, I walk off. <laughs> Head uh, towards the ship. We're using I'm that gonna... skiff you found, apparently. Yes, yeah. that's Are ours we now. Bring in Major? Uh, I mean, uh, I mean okay. Yeah, how big is it, yes. Salty? Can we all fit? Uh, let me think it's, real quick. It's, it's, it's very big. <laughs> yes, uh, most comfortably. Comfortably. Um, ha, did I get a sense about how many crew it took to, like, man it? Or is it just, like, a one you didn't person? Quite, it's, did, did you jump on, like, or No, look? no, I, I just, I just did look over. Mm-mm, not quite. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, we don't know how many people we need, but, um, yeah, we can talk to her and say if she dies or she doesn't come back, Miner's in charge. Or James. Honestly, James is more more reasonable and level-headed, surprisingly, than uh, the Major is, so uh, I think they'd be in good hands. Uh, there's more than meets the eye to, to those two, but I would That's agree. That's what everyone keeps saying, bit. but I'm not seeing it, so. Oh, come yeah. on, mate. I'm Maybe going come off it. Come off it. You boys can continue whatever you're talking about. Um, I'm going to go get Tintin. Yeah. Okay. I back so away, maintaining eye contact. You guys can hang out and have a good time with, yeah. with Bardish. Um, oh, I'm, I'm, he's trying to talk at me, and I'm just walking to the skiff. <laughs> he's telling the tale of how he fought off uh, hundreds and hundreds of Chimera sure, from, from the skiff sure, itself, and you mate. should be uh, well well suited to <laughs> sure. walk over, him. and there's like three bodies. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, somewhere around there. Um, yeah, Ten Ten is in Rock's place. Um, I guess maybe Zerda has the instinct to go, to go there. 
Uh, that's where she lives. So hell yeah, <laughs> put that wisdom to work. If yeah, you're gonna there. find an animal, you go to where it sleeps. Again, the wisdom that comes from Zerda is impeccable. I'm, I, I've got to admit. Uh, you walk. Do you go? Do you go inside? Um. Did we break the door last time? Or is that the time before? I don't think so. No, Salty no. bent the door and then bent I, I, it back it, in place. Okay. Yeah. I'll... Good memory, though. I'll knock on the door. Okay. Um, you can come in. Okay, I, I laboriously push open this door. Wait, is the door made of brass, too, or was it just the outside? It's, like, literally everything in this place is made of brass. Okay, cool. I laboriously push open the door, Aww. and then I wander through because I forgot where her room was. I mean, she's in the front, so I, oh, okay. you, you see a very large backpack, one that is almost bigger than she is, comically oh, so. Cute. Hey, look, you're Romano now. <laughs> Sorry, oregano. I realized I was saying his name wrong. It's uh, Yes, you're right. Um... <laughs> I, oh God, there's a cat. I, um, I, I'm kind of the overprepared type, so I packed maybe a bit too much. I Did know we're you going pack on foot, extra underwear? Yes. Do Anything have... extra that you could have, could mention right now, I probably have five of it. Um, did you find the tiara? She has it on. Good. Oh, cute. Good. Cute. I'm going to reach I'm, up and I'm going to dust it off and be like, it looks perfect. Look at you. He got all your measurements right. Yeah. He said, um, I mean, you only helped. really, you only really need one. The one that goes around the head. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, maybe we can get you some books and uh, we can help you out there. <laughs> some uh, I don't know how to read. I can help you with that. But aren't there like. No. A, a jillion letters or something? I mean, in the language we're speaking now, there's 26. Am I right? Hold on. Brax in the world. Yeah. Is, is the alphabet have 26 we're letters? English, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. oh boy. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll just assume it's an analog ring. I'm going to lean in really close to her and be like, I'm going to be real with you, Chief. I'm not really hot on the numbers either. Well, it's good. They're letters, not numbers. I can, I can maybe count to three on a good day and then my brain gets jumbled. It's more than zero. So, Is I mean, you're, you're, you're somewhere. Uh, but, I mean, I've gotten everything from here that I, I've needed to. Hopefully they can use it to house some of the injured. But I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have uh, rations. And we, we're both really small, so I'm sure we can share if you need. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, we have a boat. Let's go to the boat. I'm sorry, wait, what? I thought we yeah, were going- Yeah, it's a boat. Salty told me that it turns the sand into water. Wait. If, okay, it, give me a moment. I have to study my book for a bit, but I might know what you're talking about. Sure, because I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and you guys kind of continue this conversation of awkward back and forth as Tintin yes. tries to assume what you're saying and figure it out. Uh, but she's like flipping through her book on the way as she gets back to. As we walk, I'm going to be keeping an eye out for Folger. Um, whenever you all kind of start heading towards the town square, he's just sitting on a piece of rubble that's sitting around there. Um, if you choose to talk up to him, he would probably respond. But otherwise, he lets you guys do your thing. Um, I'll ask Tintin to wait a minute and I'll go over to him. So she can continue looking through her book for whatever the fuck. You're all together right now. Okay. So, Ormano Salty, what do you guys choose oh, to okay. do? okay, we're all in the square area. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you let her go on her own? Uh, I mean, he's also in the square, right? Yes. Yeah, you Very guys open. can see me from where you are. I'll... Ormano, let's just watch, I guess. Keep your ears open. Seems to be what he wanted, so... Uh. Don't like giving him what he wants, but there it is. Maybe Zerda can tell us what happens. Can I... Y'all can absolutely go listen to this, but can I mute you guys in the chat? And Ryan, you try not to listen to this. Like, so that you guys can... Sure. Is that okay? I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that, yeah. Okay. Uh, can I... Yeah, what, what's up? I will say, if you mute me, the stream can't hear 
Unless you want to keep you it a secret from literally everybody. Off. Yeah, I'll just take my headphones off. Okay, yeah, 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 I'll take your headphones I off. I was gonna say, if it's possible, because they are in, you know, I. Do a perception check. Yeah, can I try right. to read their lips a, a little bit? Yes. Just get a very base. Yes. Understand. I've got okay. my number. Hell no. Five. I got eight. <laughs> What'd I you get, eight. Romano? Five. Okay, yep, that was too low. My mouth Romano, is what very, are you saying? My mouth is very big and full of teeth, and his is very long, so yeah. it would be hard to read our lips anyway. Yeah. She's in the room with me. <sighs> Kenneth, Welcome. plug your ears. Go downstairs, and I'll text you when yeah, to come back up. It's fine. I'll just plug my ears. It's fine. Okay. Can he still hear? He turns volume down. Well, I see you decided to come and talk to me on your own. Welcome. Well, I mean, you're like sitting right here and I have to pass right by you. So like I might as well. And also all of my friends are watching. So if you try anything, they most certainly will oh, no, kill no, no. you. No, 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 no. I wouldn't. I, I would never harm you. There's just see, things we need to discuss. I don't know that though. I don't know who you are. You are aware of Bahamut, correct? Uh, yes. Although I don't call him that because it's a mouthful. True. Um, do you know of his sister? Aw, oh, shit, he has a sister? Yes. Rather oh. evil one. My name is Tiamat. The red one? No, um, red is there, though. She's, uh, okay. in a sense, the mother of all dragons as we know them today. She's trying to... The dawning hampered her power. She's trying to come back. We need to How... prevent that. If she's a dragon, I just learned about those yesterday. Yes. Your ancestry also lies within the draconic in nature. Your father, as you know him, was a kobold, yes? Um... That's a lot of things to think about. Just keep these two things in mind, and be wary of anybody who approaches you regarding Tiamat. Well, I mean, you approach me regarding Tiamat. Yes. Well, other than me, I suppose. That's all I so, needed to say. Is... Is Baha... Ba is Bami a dragon? Mm, yes and no, mostly yes. Once before, more a godlike being now. Tiamat as well. I thought but it I don't was want a to bird. keep you for too long. Uh, they have wings? Yes. But are you a dragon? Yes, partially. Oh my lord, these cats are freaking crazy. Oh, you dropped something. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so let me let me pick it up. Yes. But again, I don't want to keep you too long. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. But again, my company is apparently not wanted. You... Do you follow Timit? Bahamut. You follow Bami? Yes. You seem questioning. So, well, I don't think I've ever met anybody else who followed him. Well, we other are than of the same my family. Blood. Yes, your family is kind of my family as well. We're like cousins. Yes, we're cl closer than that. They're like cousins to me. I just, I still don't understand. How do you know me? In a past life, so to speak. It will all become clear in time. Okay. Just keep an eye out for me at Acheron. I mean, you're hard to miss. You're an ominous figure. True, true. But that's all I had to say. Okay, well, have a good trip. You as well. See you next fall. <laughs> uh, he gets up and begins to walk towards the north. Sh sure. They, they are definitely. returning and putting their cans back on. I definitely know which way is north, of course. Hey, I mean, you see which way he's going. Uh, for the two of you that just noticed, they chatted for a bit. Um, Zerda made some big wing motions, probably talking about yeah. a bird at some point. You're Zerda not too looks sure. looks very confused. <laughs> and you guys are ready to go? Maybe Man, that guy talks really, uh, his lips really closely, stuff to read. 
very hard. Very he talks hard like this the whole time. Yeah. I don't think he actually has lips, mate. Lizard lips, maybe? I don't know. Whoa. Um, do we want to bring the major? I think I we like. We talk. No matter our do personal we? feelings, it would be wise if we did. She is strong. She is strong. If not she dies, she dies. You, though. Not stronger than you. Not stronger, not stronger than me, mate. I flex. But who is? God, that was a good <laughs> moment. <laughs> me, the DM. I am God. Uh, who is that? <laughs> huh? Um. Yeah. So I'll I'll take him and show him the skiff. I didn't know if uh, he was talking to you or the. On, on the on on the way, I'll like wave at uh, Major to come join yeah, us. Yeah. Uh, on the walk, I'll also just is there to re rejoin us. So, did you learn anything? How'd it go? Um. So like, you know those crazy dragon things that we were talking about yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it turns out that birds aren't real and they're actually dragons. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some, I've seen birds. Oh. Huh. I feel I've like you shouldn't be listening. Too. This guy seems to be filling your head with nonsense. Well, so he was know. talking about Bommy. He knows Bommy. Yeah, and that's he's the, the only uh, other person that I've met that knows Bommy. That's the, uh, the deity you worship, right? Yeah, apparently he's a dragon. And uh -huh. he has a sister named Timit. Timit. Uh huh. <laughs> Although I'll say he has a much better grasp on words than I do. He could say Bami's full name. Oh, that's, there's more to it. Yeah, it's just really, it's a lot. It okay. kind of sounds like Bomit, but like. Bomit. If oh, you if you shout out Bomit, people tend to think that you're setting off explosives, so you shouldn't do that. <laughs> Gotcha. Well, this so this this guy seems seems like a problem, but I mean, if he helps you understand more about where you come from and the the things you worship, maybe it could be good for you at the very least. I mean, yeah, we're cousins, and family can be kind of weird, but yeah. Like actual cousins. Yeah, we're like actual cousins. Oh. Apparently, I'm like a little bit dragon, which I guess is a bird. I don't I think I'm a I think I'm a bird a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Surprise you didn't I mean I'm just, I'm, uh, so far none I'm of the way you told us is uh, you know, earth shattering, so I'm surprised you didn't want to like didn't feel inclined to talk to everybody about this, but whatever. Well, because right? like everybody knows what birds are. Right? You know what a bird is. I do, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm listening to this conversation and I just felt the need to intervene. Are we leaving soon? This is Major speaking. This is Major speaking, yes. Over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, Major, yeah. we, we are. Major, okay. have you ever seen a bird? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Salty, you should hey, fill, um, fill her in on what, what you found anyway. Um, yeah, so I found this, uh, skiff. <laughs> Sorry. Um. <laughs> Major canonically did that laugh. I'll just say that. <laughs> yeah, I found this skiff. Uh, seems to be in good shape. We can take it to, uh, the, uh, event horizon. Be safer, be quicker. What? I mean, that's convenient. Uh, it <laughs> doesn't take- much is, yes. doesn't usually take too long on foot. Though, but, I mean, I, I have heard whisperings of it kind of shifting and changing as of late. But, with on foot, we are sitting ducks on a ship. We at least have something to protect us. Well, I mean, that was the whole point of me testing you all, so. Ship, yeah. ship oh, definitely right. sounds like yes, a good ship, idea. Yes, ship is better, yes. Um, I just hope I can fucking work this, uh, work this thing. Oh, yeah, the ship. I'm going to grab Tintin's hand and, uh we skip to the ship so I can show her, try to impress her by being like, this is the part that turns the sand into water. Um, she, <laughs> and I just point generally at the bottom. <laughs> upon seeing it just like covers her mouth. Um, that's, this is something that Rock made. He, he made it? Yeah, it's, I mean, he worked on a lot of things down there. He was one of the people that's, Spent the most time in each of the schools. He's he was actually kind of famous down there, but this was his prized possession. 
something to be working on for a long time. He never finished it though, so somebody must have finished it. And then Do brought you it think here. This is how the ninjas got here? Probably not. No, uh, but I mean, it would have certainly come from the same place. It's odd. It seems a bit beat up, at least on the top part, though. Those ballistas. He finished those pretty early. Yeah, one will be fine. Hopefully, I, I don't know what we're going to find out here, but I mean, this should protect us really, really well. That's good. Yes. yes it, it only should. takes, like, ideally, ideally, if it's okay, one person can operate it. Oh, oh we got a lot of well, us, so. I, I, I dust off my hands. Oh, so now Salty's the one in charge, eh? Yeah, I, I guess you are. Well, but no, this, this is rocks, so this is... I would, I would take a guess that it is uh, now yours, Tintin. Uh, I and mean, I'm just, I'm just heading this uh, expedition. You're a captain. Well, yes, We're then both I appoint you as the now. captain. Well, mostly salty. You can be first oh. mate. Yeah. Well, so Captain Salty has a nice ring to it, don't it? It sure does. We'll tell a great tale one day. Captain yes. Salty has a nice ring to it, especially with that garb you're wearing. Yeah, oh, yeah, I mean, this is oh. the captain's pride, yeah. Now, to name a first mate. Just oh. looking at, looking at Bardish. Hmm. Well, I'd be oh, honored. Oh, you if... seem pretty good. What? Um, sure, yeah, I don't know what that entails, but, I mean, hey, you point me in the direction, I'll try to do some. Yeah, that's basically what, <laughs> what it does. Uh, you're in charge if I'm not on the ship or I'm incapacitated in some way. I hold up my hand. I call third mate. Sure, not that I can be second, then. Yes, you can be second, Bardish. If Omano's out, then you're in charge. Perfect. Let's go right. And then let's... I, I can navigate us for the most part. Try to make a map of where we're going. Oh, I think I have some. I reach uh, look through my pack. I do have navigators tools. Huh? Are you proficient with them? I am. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Oh. You do everything, man. Quadruple man. threat over here. Uh, He's already yeah, taken. I... Sorry. Oh, well. Uh. So. Here's this. Here's the the easel, and here's the sextant, and here's the the ruler. And <laughs> you you know how to use it. Um, That's funny. What well, sextant? <laughs> yeah, it's to get the curvature and the the dimensions and all that stuff. Oh. It's been a while. Those words um, mean nothing to me. I'm gonna go yes. bless the ship. Yeah, go bless it. I'll climb aboard. Make sure nothing's waiting for us when we get in there. I'm gonna. Is there like a ladder on the side or? Yeah, like, around the it, back, there's a ladder that just goes straight up. Yeah, sure. I'll, I climb it. Uh, make sure I don't fall through the fucking deck. You die. Uh, and oh yeah, I die. Uh, just looking around, make sure no no surprises in here. Give me perception check. Uh, are we gonna get another ten today, boy? I'm going to. Um, I'm going to. Light my sensor, the same sensor that I bashed that guy in the head with on episode two, I believe. Nice. Call um, back. yeah, I'm gonna run through the ship, uh, waving my sensor around, uh, and like singing a song, like a prayer song. And then, um, in every room, I'm gonna take out my knife and I'm gonna carve a bird into the door. Oh frame. my gosh. gosh, this wonderful woodworking has been I got smirched. A got a 16. <laughs> a 16? knee high bird. <laughs> Yeah, you look around and it seems to be a fine vessel aside from a couple of bird shaped scratches. Um, how many how many decks are there? There's there's the top deck and then how many top floors? deck and bottom deck. Okay, gotcha. And then there is the space below the hull, but like you don't really go there unless you just want to store shit. So technically that's for three. storage. Yeah. yeah. Okay, gotcha. Technically three. All right. Um, I look off into the distance. Is the is the storm like the the dust storm? Still seems to be coming, but it's a few miles off or okay. even less kilometers off all right we we better okay. beat feet so we could uh is it safe out there this or uh looks like it i mean there are some weird bird carvings that uh look like zerda's a little bit but i didn't see her carving anything so She's going, you hear an, <laughs> running around you carving hear shit. An eerie cackle float from among the ship among oh, us it's haunted it's haunted <laughs> get, get off Dalton, get Sorry. off little, i dive off <laughs> little sussy zerda Oh no! Um, I, I, everything's good. Everyone can come aboard. Nice. So, can I with uh, can, can I grab uh, Major's arm as she's like about to start going up? Yeah. Uh, Major, 
quick word. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. If you're coming with us on this thing, I need to know that you're going to be there with us. Not like, I, it, basically, I need, to know, I need to be able to trust that you'll have our back if we have yours. If there's anything you can be confident in is my ability to do what I can to protect people on this trip. People have died, and it was out of my power, but I did not abandon them. I know it's say hard it. to believe considering what happened before, but... A couple times, yeah, but I'll say no more. Oh. My sword is your sword, essentially. Start climbing. Well, technically my sword, as long as you're on the ship. Um... So, uh, I, have a, I have a thing to say. Uh -huh. Um, who, anyone have a piece of paper, quill, yeah. anything like that? I do, yeah. Oh, what do about you, a, can you write? Yeah, what about a piece of parchment and a, a quill? <clears throat> um, we just need to write a note to Minor, to Cadence, to the people that we're leaving behind. We can have Charisse deliver it. Uh, we just haven't really talked to them, so just want right. to make sure they know what's going on. And they know sure. who's all leaving, where we're going. Uh, as I yeah, come say, back, say our goodbyes through a parchment. As I come back, I'd yeah. like to pull on uh, Ormano's shirt sleeve. Everybody's like, yes. pull, pull, pull. Can I yeah. speak to you? Um, can you add Harvard on there? Harvard. Harvard. He's the one of the general store people. Yeah. I'm not sure I really had much of an encounter with that guy, but yeah, I can add him to the list. Tell him that Zerda much appreciated his help and would love to see him again in the future. Sure. Yeah. Uh, he gave fish breakfast like twice and it was really nice. Oh, that he's guy. Always yeah. been, he's always been yeah. nice. Fish um. loves to eat off plates of people who have already started eating. So it <laughs> oh, meant God. a lot to him. Uh, Braxton, DM, Mr. DM. That guy wasn't on the list of names that the guard gave me, right? Very good. No. That didn't even cross my mind, but as soon as you said it, my heart sank. <laughs> I should have said yes, but no. I would have I would have driven to your house right now and killed you. Um, <laughs> real quick, as they're doing that, uh, as I would just tell them who to, like, what to write, can I do a cursory glance to see if I find uh, Bardish's arm blade? Uh, he's got it on his back, kind of like a sword yeah. sheath. <clears throat> oh, oh, you already have it. That's fine. Uh, good news. Um, all right. Uh, there's no sails to set, is there? Are there any sails? There, there are masts with sails okay. wrapped around. Um, uh, but it's only needed if we can't be powered by the energy the, source that he's, he's set up down below. All right. Um, I'm just kind of like fumbling around, <laughs> like trying to figure out how this thing works. But, oh, okay. I think this, you out. I think this does this. I have, uh, forgive me. I haven't really sailed a vessel. You like got this, this before, Captain. But yeah, you're actually doing great. I'm surprised you know so much. Well, thank you. Uh, I have a little bit of experience. Um, sales, uh, keep them down. What's the energy source? You would, uh, she mentioned it's below deck. So whenever yeah, I go, I go below a, deck. Yeah. There's um, a bird carved on it. <laughs> I believe it was you that picked up the stone that the um, guys who were detecting your voice had whenever you destroyed it. Was it you, Ormano? Yeah, I Ormano, got, I got yeah. crab gem in my inventory. Okay. Ormano. If you ever decide during this whole, like, checking out of the ship, getting ready to leave, if you ever go sure. lower deck, it would start to kind of um, vibrate in your in your bag if you were able to notice that. I'll are, there, it to you. are there civilian rooms on this ship? Yeah, um, kind of on the, I believe it's the second floor where the energy source is, the other side, because it gets kind of noisy. So near the, um, is it the stern, the back of the ship? I don't know. Uh, there's the a few aft? rooms there. Yeah. I don't know. There's several rooms there, probably like four or five beds. I think it's called the aft. That's where I stayed last time I was on a boat, and this one guy kept saying he was going to kick my aft. So I think that's I think that's right. Oh, the jokes are rolling this time around. Okay. But yeah, uh, Salty, going down, you would first be going down the spiral staircase around the central mast, and then immediately behind you, there's this, uh, I would say like, to, to quote you, a boulder size or stone size gem that currently isn't vibrating at the moment, but there's a a thing where you can crank it, like a a, a what is what is that thing that you go like this? I don't know, a crank, a sure. crank, a crank in yeah. front of it's it. A, it's a crank. Yeah. Um. I mean, using logic, 
it seems like that might be what you could use to activate it. All right. Well, uh, oh, I just heard a conversation. The back of the ship is a stern. Um, and I'm, I, I go crank it. Right. Um, and yeah, crank it up. Uh, oh, oh, Tintin is the, does she have a name? Um, he was going to save that for when he finished it, but he got exiled before he could. So I guess it's up to you, captain. Oh, balls back in your court, salty. Oh, th thanks for the yes. And, um, Sharon, I'll, I'll think, I'll think about it. I'll think it. You have to give a good name when it strikes you, right? You can't, you can't force it. Mm -hmm. I, uh, and I it, hold up my battle axe. Sharon can strike anything. It's that's true. please don't strike the ship, and the ship comes alive. I, uh, as I'm done cranking it, I cover up the bird's <laughs> scrapings. So you hear crank, 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 and there's a whirring below the ship, and Ormano, that gem begins to not an obsessively annoying amount, but it just resonates with the gem below there. Um, Tintin would go on to explain that this is an energy source that they use in the coalition quite a lot. It's the primary way they live because there is no sunlight at all down there for the most part. And the ship begins to whir alive and you guys are off. You turn, like I, gu massage. I guess you go, it kind of does. Do you go, wh which direction do you go, Salty? Uh, I'm letting, uh, uh, I'm letting, what's her name, Major, uh, navigate us to where we need to go. What about the letter? Oh yeah, uh, just, just misshape airplane, uh, th throw it down to uh, uh, Charisse. I imagine some people were seeing us off. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Everybody. There you go, Charisse. Thank you. We'll see you. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Maybe if we come back this way. I don't know. Take care. Bring back souvenirs. I'll bring back some marines, yes. Souverines. And, and yeah. as, as you all begin to follow directions from uh, Major pointing just straight north, if you had a compass, I don't know if you guys do, points in that direction, and you guys begin to move. All right. I want to make sure as we're going, either if we're going with the storm, uh, we are uh, outpacing it, and if we are, looks like we're going to run into it, try and skirt it. Okay, it seems to be, from your point of view, the wind is coming in your direction. So when okay. you start going north, it's kind of behind you. This is super intense. We're not doing that. Yeah, you guys are, uh, I want to say like, oh, what the term for getting on the water is in, in pirate stuff, but I don't know that because I'm not a pirate, Mr. Set Ryder sail. Man. You've no, set you're, sail. You're with setting sail, yeah, with, you're, with, you're off. <laughs> with no sails, I suppose. Okay. Hoisting. Is there an anchor on the sails? With the sails of our yes. hearts. All right, yeah. Hoist uh, and the anchor. The uh, anchor is going to be in the back right of the... Yeah. Salty, I don't know what I'm doing, so just... Give me a direction. Just, I'll, I'll tell you, um... A, does this have a crow's nest? Yes. Top of the um, front I, mast. I don't, I don't know how good your eyes are, but you can go in the crow's nest, point out anything that looks uh, menacing. Well, I can try. It, it's that thing. It's that thing up there, and I point to oh, it. Zerda yeah, looks at Armano with jealousy. Hey, I got. I mean, I may be old, but I got good vision, you know. <laughs> You're like middle age. <laughs> what is wrong with my middle hey, age? Old. It happens. Uh, yeah, I see him cry. Uh, yeah, get Zerda. up there when we percept. And I'll leave my box. Yes, Captain. Below. Now, I got a really important job for you, all right? Yes, Captain. You need to look around the ship, make sure there's no uh, stowaways, make sure there's no rats, little creatures. If they do, you can keep them, but we can't, we can't have, it, have them running around. If, um, if I see any other rats on the ship. That's not shit, uh, ship. <laughs> That's not fish. Um, fish is very territorial, so if we come across another one, he will kill it in cold blood. Oh, gee, all right, yeah, that's, that's fine with me, I guess. That's, that's mostly a lie. I just, I say that so that his self-confidence gets really high. He's kind of down on himself sometimes, you know? I look at fish. <laughs> He's just <laughs> cleaning his whiskers. <laughs> oh, he looks like it, yeah. Um... If I find stowaways, may I stab them, sir? Oh my god. Uh, no, do not stab them. Just try and tie them up or let one of someone know. Uh, I didn't bring that up. 
Okay. Kamado, what's your um, roll? Okay. 21. Oh, damn. Ooh. Okay. Um, the big old your 18. eyes draw you. you, like, a head is a wide expanse. <laughs> and as you're looking, you don't have, did I make a joke? I don't know. <laughs> Just the word wide. I looked in. I looked at my forehead as you said that head is a wide <laughs> expanse. So Ormano's looking very vigilantly, and it, it's quite interesting seeing the land morph and turn from plains to sand to marshy. And up until where your vision oh extends, you you see the top of a purple dome, but it's surrounded by kind of mist a bit, and it is far, far away, farther than what Major seems to have even been aware of. Things have changed since the last time she's gone out. If she was up here with you, it would be weird. Kind of puts everything <laughs> in perspective up here. If you turn around with your other perception check, you look at this dust cloud, and it's not anything entirely massive, but you, you see one, two, three, four, four, from your point of view, fist-sized dots coming in and out of the ground. Uh, Captain. Oi. Uh, I see something in the, the where that dust cloud is. I can see like things, almost like. I've you know heard stories of creatures and things in the ocean and whatnot, but like you know like going up and then coming back down kind of thing. Yeah, dolphins, whales. Dolphins. Eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like something's out there doing that in the sand. Uh, are they Five coming towards them. us? Uh, I mean, eventually, probably, but... Uh, just, just keep an eye on them. Sure, can yeah, do, Just Captain. keep an eye on them. If, if, if they start being more weird, uh, let, let's, let me sure. know. The world looks nice from up here. Uh, it, it usually does. It usually does. Uh, and just, uh, head steady towards, um, keep steady towards the, the event horizon. Okay. Um, oh, uh, Major, um, mm -hmm. just... Once we get closer, just let us know what we need to be doing, what we need to look out for besides the tentacle things. That'll be our final thing. Um, All right. Um, and that's that's a doozy, but between then, you can expect bird-like monsters to attack us, maybe a chimera or two, but that dust cloud gives me a bit of an, an eerie feeling. It, it also worries me a bit, too. Um, who all, So we have me, uh, Zerda, Ormano, Artist Major... Tintin. Bardish ten ten, and that's it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, I'll I'll wait until <clears throat> I'll wait until Zerda is done searching the ship. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go through the ship and I'm gonna look for um people that we didn't bring on and also things that we didn't bring on. Okay. Yeah. Investigation. That's the role. It's so I bad. It's is so it bad? bad. Yeah. What'd you do? Got a minus um, three for it. Negative one. <laughs> um. You find the bird things that walking, you made before. Like, it's a bunch of like rooms that lead in a circle, and I just keep going. Yeah, I don't even think you make it too far. <gasps> Jesus. No. Okay. All right, uh, third mate. Good I job. I thought you just started having like a hard time over there. I didn't understand what was happening. Yeah, me too. Zero, I got a very fun job when it, when it's needed. You see that big crossbow-looking thing? Yes, sir. Yeah, you're you're gonna be using that. Uh, if we need it. Can I name it? Of course. Jeffrey. Sure. <sighs> sure, Jeffrey the ballista. <laughs> I'll go um, get acquainted with Jeffrey. <laughs> yeah. Salty, uh, I do need to mention that the ones that are broken can probably be fixed, but I'm not sure Oh. if you're yeah. able to. I I'm not strong enough to be able to lug any of those tools around. But I mean, if I, if, if I can hold them, like put them where they need to be, can you do some repairs. Uh, yeah. I could be the muscle. You can just weld or uh, fix. Yeah, I can, I can try tent. to help. Yeah, so is so can Zerda. She's not doing really anything right now. Fish, that's inappropriate. Tintin didn't say that was okay. For audio listeners, there's a kitten crawling on Braxton. <laughs> oh my god. He just really wanted up here. Um, Alright, and then Salty, I want you to make I guess, what would what would this be? Um, well, I'm just holding the holding the material. And she's there. So doing like, it. I, okay. Yeah. So I like I yeah, guess a, a, um, either helping her or yeah. a strength check, and there does helping me. Or mono. 
Oh, yeah. Those things are getting closer. They're about, they're not, the dust cloud is not close enough for you to be like, oh, oh shit, better tell the captain. It's so not, it's not, not that close. So we're not going faster than them. Yes, they seem to be going faster than you. So that's the new information that you've they're gathered They're catching here. up. Um, uh, there's things, there's things are getting closer, Captain. Uh, are we with the wind right now? You are with the wind. It's pushing against your back. All right. Uh, well, if they're getting closer, we got sails. Uh, is there, I'm going to. Yeah. Is there a way to make us go faster? Yeah, um, the sails Bardish, for sure. uh, second mate Bardish. Uh, yes. Got my hands full right here trying to repair this thing. Will you lower the sails, mate? Yes. I'll try not to cut it with my arm. Yes, please, please do not cut the <laughs> cut um, the mast in half. Roll a dexterity check for him. Would you Would you like that. Bardish to help you so that I? Because we know that, I, well, we're pretty sure that I won't cut the sails. I mean, he's already doing it, I think. Okay. He's doing it. I rolled. Okay. They're not torn. They look okay. Captain, right. I have succeeded in my mission. Very Can good. Can I be first good. mate now? The, you, what? No, that's not how this that's works. That's not how that works. What, are you trying to mutiny on me? Not a mutiny. Do I no. already Can got a mutiny on my hands? have an old-fashioned duel to see who deserves to be first mate. Oh, well, I think, I think uh, Ormana would, would beat you to that. Um, what do we need to do for the ballista? Well, you're having Tintin do it. Yes. And so I'm, does she just I'm do it with the help wherever, action? Yeah, I'm helping yes. wherever needed. And that gives advantage, right? Yes. Okay. So we'll roll the first one. Let's see what she does here. An... Um, a nat, nat one and a nat 20. Oh. Wow, spicy. Uh, so she begins working. And it takes a bit. So she's going to work on this one for. Hmm, I need to think in advance. Let's say it takes about 30 seconds for her to get things together and figure out Damn. how to make it work okay. properly. Well, she rolled a nat 20. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, well, you're qu you're quick with your hands. You're, hold, hold on. Let me let me get the materials to hold in place for you. Jesus. Um, yeah, but I'm going to need you to move it into place after this, so get ready. Yep. And Ormano, uh, though the sail has boosted you guys a bit, um, almost in response to a prey, or prey running from a predator, the predator kind of gets another second win, I don't know, and speeds up a bit more. And at this point, I'm going to need you guys to get into initiative. Hello. It is I, again, even though we plan to have Jamie do this little intersection here, interrupting whatever action you just had encountered. We played Magic the Gathering last night, and she was very tired and went to sleep, and I forgot to get her in front of the microphone. So right now, it is me and my two kittens, who you may hear meow, or be moved, or maybe there's a button pressed on my keyboard because they like to step on it. Uh, Jamie told me it's because they like to mimic the person that is their parent. Oh, and they're looking at the, the metering signal. They want to press it. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Let's jump into this. Uh, let me get my notes. Wow, this is so impromptu. Hey, I hope you love this. I'm Braxton, the dungeon master with Sumi and Usagi, my two cats. So Dungeon Chronicles, you love it, right? Yeah, I hope you totally want to talk to us on social media, like Instagram and Twitter, maybe? Mm -hmm. The Dungeon Crawl Pod, or at Dungeon Crawl Pod. Things are distracting when two kittens are biting on your shirt, okay? So join us on the Discord, maybe, if you want to see pictures of my cats that are currently cheering on the button of my shoe. Oh my goodness. All right, you two, come down. No, 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 no. Oh boy, the link is in the link tree. Um, if you want to talk to us on Gmail as well for any sort of reason, uh, that's the Dungeon Crawl Pod at gmail.com. But you're wondering why everything is the Dungeon Crawl and not the Dungeon Chronicles for all our handles. That's because we got another podcast, Ryan and I do. Just us two. Sometimes Jamie and Kenneth are on there. We do advice on D&D. Our last episode that we just did was reacting to hot takes on Twitter. Are clerics overpowered and do they ruin adventuring and remove on consequences? Go check out that episode. One before that was Unearthed Arcana, Mages of Strixhaven. Give that a look too if you want to see your thoughts on that. Jumping back to the Dungeon Chronicles though if you want to watch us live in the future because if you're hearing this you missed it we do that on twitch uh twitch.tv forward slash dungeon crawl network it always takes my brain a little bit to load that information we just have organic cpus in our heads that's all it is gotta load the information next episode that we will be streaming live at around 6 p.m central time within the u.s of a wherever the hell we are i'm not allowed to dox this anymore so that's all i'm gonna say uh the next episode will be june 28th at that 6 p.m cst time join us and see what goes on 
next. I, I don't know what else to say. I feel like I'm missing something. We do have a YouTube channel, Search the Dungeon Crawl Podcast. It's where we have the video form of everything that we do, even the VOD of these episodes. Wow, because we don't keep those on Twitch for reasons, because Twitch is a scary place to leave your VODs. So we do YouTube. My cat has now returned and is trying to swat at the screen, so maybe I'm going to try to get you guys back. But before you go, the Dungeon Crawl, the podcast that Ryan and I have been doing for almost two years, our second year anniversary is coming up, as well as that same week, the 100th episode will be out. So it's a big whammy bammy. Give a test out on the uh, Twitter Hot Takes video. See if you like listening to us read people's comments. If you enjoy that, send us some comments at us on Twitter or use the hashtag uh, TD Crawl or TD Chronicles. Those are the things we use for our podcast. And those questions, get in the Discord, talk to us. We want to do a, like a like a frequently asked questions things that people tend to do on the YouTubes. Do that also. Five stars and Apple Podcasts really helps us out because, you know, our capitalist overlords at Apple, they own everything in the world. And one of those happens to be their podcasting site, which is the most popular thing uh, that our podcast is on. So, you know, go over there if you want. As Jimmy would say, if you know, you know, and, uh, you know, it's time to get back to the episode. So I will see you guys later. Bye. Omano, how's it looking? Apparently, it's really bad. They're here. <laughs> oh, gee. Where they Not come here from? yet. They're coming. Does it look like they're uh, okay. going like, in, like how far? out of the ground? How far would I um, see? From this point of view, I'm going to say they're like 1,000 feet away from you all. Oh, damn. That's, that's oh. a... I mean, yeah. Speed. They're far, but I mean, these they're things, going. Apparently, these, these, uh, these coalition guys make fast vehicles. Um, is or it slow. Vehicle? You don't know. Or they're worms. Or they're worms. We'll see. Okay. Um, what did you guys get for initiative? 17. 17 for salty. Zerda. Surprisingly. I got a 7. All right. Or Manu. 15. Nice. All right. Let's roll for these. Jesus God, Christ. I hate, I hate being in charge. I don't, but I feel like all of my decisions. Salty would weight. be in charge. He He's got this, Captain. Alright, so oh, I'm sweating. Oh fuck. First up, we actually have Bardish. Nice. Oof. I love you, boy, but you cannot be up here, please. Oh, I love you too, Bardish. Braxton goes first. Puts cats off desk. Okay, come on. Come on. That's two separate actions. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Okay. I'm gonna here's what we're gonna do. Yo, what's up? Because they use me to climb up. Okay, you're standing. I'm gonna stand. I wanna stand wow, like this. Okay. What a chad. This makes it better. Okay, so now now that we're getting into com combat really jazzed up and excited. I don't, I don't like things. the energy that you have set on your camera. Let's go, guys. We're gonna fight. This is esports. Oh god. What if for initiative we all stood up every time? Uh Braxton, for simplicity for you, port is left, starboard is right. Gotcha. If if the if the ship is like just going straight. Okay. Or is left starboard is right. I use, yes. I think I knew that, but that helps me confirm. Okay, so Bardish is going to uh, go down to the bottom because he can't attack any bear. And he's just hanging out with Twiddle and his, his thumbs and his blades and be like, third, you know, third mate stuff, second mate stuff. Um, <laughs> some mate stuff. Some mate stuff. Next up, uh, the Dust Cloud is going to use its movement, its dash action to get close to you guys. I don't. Uh, I don't so like that the dust cloud has a dash. It cuts it. It cuts it by the thousand feet goes to eight hundred feet. Jeez, that is a fast okay. thing. Okay, so next up, salty. Can we see it better? Uh, I'm. You can see it better now. At this point, you you see. I believe it's five of these figures, kind of mm -hmm. bouncing in and out of the ground, approaching you guys. Just figures, so I can't see anymore. No, not quite. It's still pretty far away. If you had a telescope of some sort, maybe. Hey, uh, Zerda, uh, this is a good time to get onto the uh, baluster. And Jeffrey. I'm just going to help, I'm gonna help uh, uh, Tintin get this one fixed up. Okay, yeah, give There's me There's nothing a, else I can really do. Give me a strength check. Oh, Or athletics. Well, athletics. It's a nat 20! Um, you just, 
Yeah, what do you want to do? I was going to say it for you, but you know, you're badass. You got this. What do you want to do? There's a there's a space about 20 feet away from me where you need to put it. I think I just like get like I think she's like, hold on, don't move it yet. And I just like pick it all up and then just place it where it needs to be. And then it's like jam all the parts together. And it clanks right. She's like, hey, well, hold on. Don't mess it up. No, it's fine. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Um, well, there's another one over here. We've got uh, two more, three more to repair. Okay. And yep, then, that's um, fine with me. Uh, does somebody want to man this one? Uh, uh, I look at Omano. Do you feel like shooting? I can't really aim it well. I can try, maybe. All right, Major, someone that... Major and Bardish do rock, paper, scissors to see who... <laughs> Bardish, <laughs> we'll get your their... ass up here and do it. <laughs> do it on their turn. Yeah, okay, Bardish will... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bardish will do it. Roger, Captain. Uh, Ormano. Uh, how far up am I? Um, how high typically are... Let's look this up. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're like 30, 40 feet up. Are they're pretty high. Close. 24 feet. So we'll just make it a nice 25 feet. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, blah, 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 blah. I mean, I guess for the time being, since they're like 800 some odd feet away, I will just hold my action of toll the dead on if I see a creature. What's the range on that? Uh, 60 feet. So if a creature that is an enemy comes within range, then I will toll them or they're dead. Okay, cool beans. And I'll just keep uh, and no. still keeping an eye out. All right. Uh, they're getting closer. Be, it will be major. Uh, she's going to get to the side of the ship that is nearest the dust cloud. Okay. Next up, it's gonna be Zerda. So I'm gonna run to Jeffrey. Can I get to Jeffrey? The ballista. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the the ship itself, how big is this? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. The ship is 45 feet in uh, length from... Um, tip to tail? The tip to tail. That's the phrase there. Okay. There we go. So from where I am, I can get to Jeffrey. Yes. I'm going to run, and I'm going to slide across it like Deuce of Hazard. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, just cause. And then I'm gonna turn it and aim it towards the dust cloud. Mm -hmm. How far can this thing shoot? Do I know? Let me look at my statistics. What's it? Boom. Jesus, that's actually really fucking far. Um, give me an intelligence check. Sorry. Oh no. Uh, that's, you're you just gotta, funny. You're, you're, gonna, you're gonna ready yourself and kind of look through it. It's got a, it's got a, uh, an iron sight of, of sorts. Um, and you can try to do a general guess as to how far I can shoot. Um, that's a seven. I rolled a ten. Got a, a ten. Yeah. Uh, probably pretty far. Probably pretty All far. Right. Um, I don't see the the white dot things. Have you ever used a crossbow? I'll let you. I'll let you let me know. Zerda has never used anything but her axe. Seems and pretty a far. Knife. Oh. Seems cool. pretty far. Um, I don't see the the dots that Armano um, said. No, at this point, I think you'd start being able to see the cloud and a couple of them themselves. Okay, I'm gonna grab another die because I don't fucking trust this one anymore. Uh, and there are heavy bolts to the side of this as well. Cool, is there it's one got... already loaded or no? Yes. Cool, I'm gonna shoot at the dust cloud. Okay, yeah, this will help you get an idea of how far I can shoot, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna use my I guess blood it's dexterity? A dex? Yeah, dex modifier. Is ranged weapon. Okay, so I roll a d20 and then just add dex? Yep. Here we go, first roll. This is Monster combat. Hunter. Yeah. yeah, right. Uh, it's a 15. 15. Um, let me check my monsties. Your monsties. <laughs> monsties. Check the um, monsters. So you... Jesus. Oh, you are a, just a little bit off mark. It goes towards the cloud mm. a little to the left of it but you get the idea that you can only shoot about half as, a little bit over half of where it could go right now. So if they're 800 feet, it, it shoots about 450 feet, I believe. Okay. 480 feet is how far it goes. You don't okay. You don't literally know the number, but that's it looks about half. So shooting it was my action, mm -hmm. and then I used my movement. Would it be another action to reload it? 
Uh, Kenneth, what are the rulings on loading? You know that, don't you? Um, depends I mean, on what you're using, but yeah, it's, it's usually an action. I'd to say reload. it's a full action to grab it and then like pull it back because it's very involved. Mm-hmm. Okay. You can pick it's it a up. Big ass, it's a big ass ballista. You can pick up the thing. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up the next bolt and prepare to load it. Perfect. Ooh, intense. I think for the rules of actual ballista, I think it's like action reload action aim action fire but that's like a lot no so that that's up to you um not yeah. doing that it's not it's not that strong okay okay uh da-da, let's oh, get where's back where's tintin oh tintin is helping salty i'm gonna yell yes. for major to come over um i just went on this side but sure well i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna see if she can reload while i'll fire oh, sh- oh, oh that's nice. why i like that where's my combat here we go. Okay, back to the top of the initiative, Bardish. You told Bardish to get on the newly constructed one. Yes. Um, which is good because he's he's kind of good with ranged weapons he's, too. He's good with ranged stuff. He's good with ranged stuff. He's so, a dex build. Um, he uh, is going to shout. Doesn't seem like I could hit him from this point. I'm going to hold and see if yeah, they get any ho- closer. Hold your action. Thank you, ca- Captain. Was You're gonna... welcome. Right. Captain, I already <laughs> knew that. <laughs> Oh, good job, good job, Zoda. Next Come up on, is... you need to, Bardis, you need to learn from Zoda. I'll do my best, Captain. Anything to please you. Oh, oh, oh. Don't promise me with a good time. Okay. <laughs> the, the Dust Cloud is going to move forward using their dash action as well and close another 200 feet. At this so point, they 600? are 600 away. Gotcha. Okay. Next up, Salty. Uh, I'm going to help Tintin build this third one. Or the second one. We already built one, right? That is mm-hmm. correct. Yeah, so I'll help her build this one. Okay, uh, so she will be able to do that right after you, uh, as you yep. use that help. Do you do anything else? Um, bonus action? No, I'm fine. Cool. I'm okay, the, so she's yeah, gonna good. roll. I need a dice. Ooh, it's right here. Oh, actually, roll. bonus action. Uh, uh, brace up. Uh, okay, just cool. So I can get some temp, temp HP uh, beforehand getting stronger uh she rolled an 18 and she begins working in 30 seconds is all it takes her nice so Uh, half this round or see a little bit 30 seconds a little bit how long is 30 seconds in actual like combat that's that's five rounds six seconds let's do the math that's That's five rounds rounds. okay cool all right so she's going to be working on that and then ormano you're up I'll just do the same thing. Keep an eye out and hold my toll of dead. Perfect. I got a 14 temp HP. Damn, Jesus. Oh, uh, I rolled max. Can I see them better from this distance now? Much better. Um, you see, it's it looks to be some sort of shark-shaped creature. There appear to be legs and a pointed front face, but outside of the silhouette, you can't tell. Imagine it's like a shark, shark creature. Oh, God, it's sh- land sharks. Damn it, I, that's my worst fear, land sharks. Watch your money. Land sharks would be pretty damn comfortable. Uh, not comfortable, scary. Okay, <laughs> watch my money. It took me a second to, like, process what <laughs> Oh, you're <laughs> funny, said. Armada, you're funny, Armada. You think I have money. I'm a that out. jokester. Zerda. Your turn. Okay. So... Did Major, did she go before me or after me? Major goes, oh, sorry, before you, that's Major's turn. What did you tell Major to do last turn? Uh, Command the- uh, Reload Reload. She's Mm going to do that. She reloads. So now you have a loaded ballista. Um, And it's still like, what, 600, 800 feet out? 600 feet, still farther away than what you did. Okay. um, So. uh, (laughs) God, I'm just imagining like this wide-eyed, grinning goblin that's just- having a blast fire. Oh, my things. pupils are so dilated. So dilated. That's more light in so you can hit things. Yeah, I'm going to, as a bonus action, cast Divine Favor Ooh. on myself and Jeffrey. So um, until the spell ends, your weapon attacks deal an extra 1d4 radiant damage on a hit. And it's con- nice. concentration up to a minute. You're going to be wow. shooting some shit. Okay. Yeah. Um, Anything else? And then... Um, let's see. 
I'm just sitting here you wanna with hold your action here. for it to for them to yeah. get close. Yeah, I'm gonna hold my action until it gets to about 400 feet from us. It's more 500. It's okay, 480. So We're gonna round up though. So just whenever they get into range, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, as soon as they get in range, um, and I'm gonna tell Fish to hunker down in uh his jar, his Come money on. jar. <laughs> Squeaks affirmative nods and then goes in the little jar. Perfect. Next up gonna be Bardish and he's going to ready and get ready to aim here. Let me see if he can do anything else. Nope. Okay. Uh, he's just gonna get ready and ready his action for when yep. they get closer and then it is going to be the cloud's turn to which they use another dash action to get close enough and bam bam. Reactions go off. Pew, pew. Make yep, a yep, 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 dex yep. attack. Zerda. Yes. Fucking uh, let those babies fly. Pew pew. Uh, They're closer. Fuck. I see that, Armano. Thank you. Motherfuck. I you can come down from the crow's nest anytime unless you like it up there. I missed. I got a nice. five. You got five? It shoots and it lands within the cloud, but it manages to miss your target. This is miss. not an easy feat, so don't what feel What about don't uh, feel Bardish? Bad. Bardish is also going to shoot, and he's going to use Archer's Eye as a bonus Ooh. action to add a d10 oh. to his next attacker damage roll. Oh, Bardish out here. Fuck yeah, Bardish. Uh, oof. Okay, so Barge. his 14. Ah, uh, he actually misses. Wow. Wow, Bardish. Bardish, that's that's going on your uh, you record. Shots, guys. We're, just, on. we're just Gotta calibrating, shots. okay? Uh, can I get anybody help me reload over here? God. Am I, uh, do it, does it look like I'm done like helping her? She's just going to take her time. Yes. To... Uh, if oh, you yeah. wanted to go get the other two Ballistas finished, you would have to come back and help her again, but... Uh, we don't have a whole lot of people demand them, though. One, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. correct. Um, okay, so Salty, it is your turn next. I'll go... Uh, yeah, uh, there's nothing much I can do right now. Uh, so I'll, yeah, go get a handful of ballistas, shove it in there, and, like, reload it for him. Um, and is that my action to reload it for him? Yes. Use your All interact right, yeah. and your action to put it in. Ooh. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Uh, Ormano. Uh, you said they're like 400 feet out? They're 500 feet out at the moment. 500 feet out. All right, 400. They're, they're going. going down to... Yeah, they're 400. Yeah, yeah, you're correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Then I'll just do the same thing. Keep okay. an eye out. Wait till they get close and then strike. Armano's, Armano's just up there enjoying the wind in his hair. Enjoying the clouds. Wait till they get close. I know. Uh, me too, man. Major is going to get uh, ready the, act the reload action, if she can do that. I'm just going to see yep. if she can. Zerda. Oh, wait, no, she um, reloads for you. Yeah, she reloaded, so I'm just going to shoot. Nice. Fucking get them. Fucking eat their lunch. Get a nat 20. Let's go. Nope. <laughs> What'd you get? Oh, God. Six. Uh, it does You're miss. wasting. goes way got to hit your shots. I'm just going through the dice today. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. This one has not failed me before. Let me see. What is? All right, boy. If you better. miss this shot, you're demoted. I'm Wanna using my, my best, eldritch Captain. die. All right. He's um the archer's eye lasts oh. until his next attacker damage roll. Okay, gotcha. So it's gonna keep going. Nice. Gonna roll the hit. Oh, he rolled a eleven. He. <laughs> Captain, don't look at that one. That was uh, oh, yeah, sneeze. Don't look, um, don't look at which one. Don't look at which one. What? So they're not going to use their dash to get close to you guys they yeah. are going to still move 100 feet so the 300 away but they're going to start attacking you guys uh and the easiest oh. one to hit right now is probably the one kind of perched up on the thing yep uh-huh so okay. they're going to oh, Mono, watch out oh Mono, watch out the I thought sharks there was, i thought there were sharks uh and then they like, have range attacks <laughs> i'm excited for this one um this is going to be that, so it's not as easy. Does it look like anyone's riding them, or are they just sharks? No one's riding them, but Omana, what you see is they're on their back. There's kind of a, like a blowhole sort of thing, and what shoots from it <laughs> is it, yeah. what seems to be, as it approaches your face, whether it hits or not, a smaller version of these things. Oh! <laughs> they're shooting their babies at you. It's like a like. fucked up alien. And like, it's going to be... Like from Alien. Dex to hit. That Does a 14 hit? No. Okay, so flying by you, and it goes whizzing by your face, you hear a large snap as you see. For you guys, what Ormano would see is it, it looks similar to a bullet. Oh, be it's careful. A, yeah, yeah. Slightly altered one. Um, but it does miss you. Um, and there's going to be 
two more coming out, and one's going to shoot at the ballista where Zerda's at. That was almost an at 20. And it misses it with cool. his spine. You hear a snap that goes by your face. And the other one's going to go at Major, who's reloading. And this one also misses. So snap, snap, wow. snap. These three things shoot out. Um, and we go back to Salty, as you've seen what is attacking your crew. Oh, how close are they? Uh, at this point, they are 300 feet away. And how much faster does it look like they are than us? Um, gosh. Like 100 feet faster, probably? Because they gain... I would like, say so. They gain 100 feet without... Yes. And then they dash. Okay. Um... Gosh, so that's... I think that's 200. I'm doing, asleep, I'm, doing so math. I'm doing math in my head. Uh, Are you British? Math? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Um, is there any way I can do, like, evasive maneuvers to give them disadvantage on their attacks? Yeah, you can get ready to dodge. No, like, move, the, like, maneuver the ship in a way where it's harder for them to hit us. I love that, so yes. Yeah. Bardish... Reload yourself. Uh, I bound up, uh, Shit. bound up the deck, uh, get on the wheel or whatever the contraption is to steer, mm -hmm. and start doing some evasive maneuvers. Yeah, I'll give that a plus. You say huh. half cover or like three quarters cover? Okay. Okay. All right. It's totally up to you, but that is my turn. Yeah, that's what I want to say. I want to say it adds, honestly. I'm gonna add two AC to you guys, all of you. Nice, nice. Salty's moving because uh, these guys are no slouches. Yeah, I just like not Tokyo drifting, but like skidding and yes. Uh, hold on, just like anything that's not bolted down is just getting thrown. So we'll add this mechanic to the ship. You can spend your action to give all the crew in the ship half cover, two AC. Gotcha. For okay. until your next turn. <clears throat> yep. Yep. That's or mono. Nice. Uh, they're 300 feet away. I can't do anything for like three more rounds. Trust me, you don't want them closer. I know you're like, let me get it. I can't. I can't do a thing though. I'm from sorry. This distance. There is one more ballista ready. No, it's only two. Almost. You got two more rounds until it's finished. Okay. Well, I can't do anything for two more rounds at least. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> regardless, I can't do anything. Ah. Uh, so I'll just do. The, I mean, I'll do the same thing. I'll do the okay. same thing. Um, okay, so it's going to be Major next. She reloads for Zerda, and Zerda, it's your turn. I like how this all works okay. out with the mm -hmm. with the initiative order. Yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> I thought about that. We suck if she was after her. I'm going to tell Major to hold for a moment, and I'm going to look up to or uh, Ormano, because down here, it's two on one, but up there, it's one on one. So the one that just tried to bite at him, I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt at it. Well, it, it oh, entirely wait, it's missed. Like super far, Since huh? they yeah, missed. Yeah, it's not in range yet. Well, since, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that just attacked him was 300 feet away, um, and the bullet that was shot at him, the, the baby one, flew off the ship because it missed. Oh, okay. I thought it was still attached. Okay, no. okay, okay, okay. Then... <laughs> The thing that shot the thing at him, I'll shoot with the ballista. Okay, yeah. Well, I'll try to shoot with the ballista. You got it. Got a 10. Whizzes past. They're getting I'm closer. I'm just not fucking hitting. Well, they're moving. And the closer they get, the faster they appear to move. Not literally, but just because mm -hmm. of how distance and speed is. Yeah. Back up to the top of the initiative. Oh my god. All right, Bardish um, reloads himself. <laughs> yeah. And he gets, uh, he uses his turn to do that. Great, right, Captain, we're all uh, reloaded here, locked and loaded. All right, well, God, you, you talking like that messes up me. All right, well, then uh, fire whenever you're ready. Uh, Omano, you have free reign to do whatever. Okay. So they move uh, another 200 feet closer, and they're going to do pop, 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 shoot. Oh, sorry, 100 feet closer, so they're at 200 feet. Damn, you got Omano excited, man. And I Omano, know. they're going to, there's 22 at hit. This like I could actually do something. Uh, 22. Yeah, they'll hit. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so I need to roll. Is it a D? So this is not written. D okay. 2D12 and our mono's face. <laughs> None of my dice are rolling well at all. That's too strong. So we'll do one D10. Actually, they're babies. So let's do a D6. Okay. They're babies. Uh, so that's going to be a seven damage as it shoots at you and bites into your shoulder. 
<clears throat> you readied your action though, right? Yeah, if it, so this is actually a thing too this now? This is actually a monster. So. Okay. Yeah. Then I'll I will, yeah, told to dead it. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, it must succeed on wisdom save. Wisdom roll, not a strong suit. It fails, it's guffaw, it's a four. Okay, I, does it have full health? It does. Okay. It won't after this. Woo, uh, yeah. Three points of necrotic damage. Okay, it takes it. As a little bell goes off. Ding-a-ling. It kind of sounds cool up there because it's a crow's nest and sometimes they have yeah. to... Trouble, <laughs> trouble. Okay. Um, How's it looking after that three damage? It seems pretty fine. Oh, oh good. Uh, <laughs> good. Salty. <laughs> Oh wait, no, it's gonna, right. um, sorry, they gotta, they gotta shoot two more times. Well, now. Yep. It's fine. Uh, so this Let's one's going it. at zero to six, 16 hit. Uh, yes. You have With a plus the, two AC. Yeah, plus two? Yes. What? With the plus two, my AC is 15. Oh. What? Yeah. Yes. All right, so roll d6. That's why I kept the last couple fights I've tried to cast, uh, Shield Eight of damage. Faith on myself. How much damage? Eight damage as it launches into you and bites onto your ear. This is oh, fine. Good. Not my good ear. <laughs> wait, can I? Uh, wait, no, I can't do that. Hold on. Fuck. I thought I had a thing where I could like not take as much, but I don't think I do. Not rogues. No, I thought I had a small. Oh no, that's something else. Okay, I was looking at something else. All right. We're good. Uh, and then the final one. It's going to shoot at Major, and that's a miss, so it launches and whizzes past. Next up, Salty. So there's five, there's five of them, but only three three shoot stuff? Yes. Okay. Uh, hey, Major, would you please get that thing off of uh, Zeta? And I am going to... How far is the crows? 25 feet? 25 feet um, up. Ah, that sucks. Okay. I'll just... This is the, probably the last turn I'll do evasive maneuvers, but we're gonna do it right now, uh, just in case. Um, evasive maneuvers, nothing for a bonus action. Tell Major to try and kill that thing that's uh, attacking Zerda. Okay. And that's my turn. All right, so we're gonna jump over to Ormano now. How big is this thing? The one, it is probably head size, like a human head. Head size. Yeah, it's small. Could I... Hmm act like it's a golf ball, hit it with my mace and try to knock Dude, it hell off yeah. the... Put it off, get it out of the... off the ship. Dude, hell yeah. Okay. Dude, hell yeah. Dude, hell yeah. Let's try to hit it with my mace. It's just giving birth at us. <laughs> oh, don't. I think it more of like, uh, um... Dragapult from Pokemon. It shoots its children out yeah. of people. Let's see. How does a 18 do? That will hit. I'll do like a whole. That's good. All right. Give me that damage. Damage. Uh, uh, seven points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, so not only do you knock it off, but it um, goes limp at the uh, the stark hit of your mace into it, and it's dead and nice. flies off the ship. Oh. Okay. I, I learned from you, Ryan. I'm learning. Not exactly super you weak, but you know. We, we did a, we did a discussion on we the dungeon up. crawl about. All right, enough of the plugs. Cool. Okay, I'm just so because um, you said it after the first after the told that you said it looked fine and then it was down. Yeah. Um. Okay. And then that's my action. I mean, makes sense. Hmm. Yeah, I will. Bonus action cast a uh, spiritual weapon. Hell to yeah. be right next to Zerda. Mm -hmm. So we got the big scythe up here out of the spectral air and we'll uh, attempt to uh, hit the one that's biting Zerda. Cool. So it can do that right now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. It's when you summon it, yeah. Yeah, it's, if it's summoned within melee of a creature, that's then sick. it automatically gets a hit. That is sick nasty. And it's not concentration. Yeah, uh, I love spiritual weapons. That'll be a 20 to hit, not natural. I'll... That will definitely do a hit. And that'll be... Ooh, that's a whole lot of four damage. Four force damage as the scythe swings at it. 
All right. It is still alive. Not looking too hot, though. Let me see here. Done. Okay. Anything else you want to do? Uh, you were official no. with your turn there. I will stay there. All right. Uh, so we are on Major. She's going to try to help Zerda instead of reload to kill this thing. As Captain Salty did mention. Do -do -do. Uh, try to hit with her great sword. 21 to hit does, and she's going to roll damage. 11. She slashes and cuts nice. clean through this thing. Uh, but now Zerda has a baby bullet earring as it's clamps onto her head still. Oh, cute. Honestly, it's like pulling. I'm fucking down. It's, it's like when you have a tick on you and you pull it off and the head's still, still there. there. Oh, God. And regrows. <laughs> All right. Um, Zerda, your turn. Okay. So there's nothing within melee of me anymore. Uh, major is if you just felt like hitting her. Nah. Um. How far away is the nearest thing from me? From the ship in general, it's about 200 feet, but from where you are right now, just 200 and some change. Okay. Um. Whale. Uh. Don't really do a whole lot since they're far away, other than reload. Um. I would like to. With my nimble escape, I'd like to hide behind the ballista and then hold my action for something to be shot at Major. Okay. I like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Back up at the top, we've got Bardish who has reloaded and will shoot. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him, shoot him now. Shoot him, Bardish. Get him. <laughs> Shwing. Oh, I got, this is, I got oh. a 19 on my stealth check, by the way. <laughs> Look, uh, Salty, you might just want to close your eyes. Yeah, it's like we don't even have these ballistas. I'm kind of <laughs> sad, at yeah. At this point. At, uh, boy. At this point. I couldn't hit at all with it, so. Okay, so it's these guys up again, so they're going to get 100 feet away from you guys at this point. Uh, and oh, they're going to do... I could hit them. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Bam. What's the first one here? Uh, it's going to go at major, and a 13 will not hit, but it does trigger reaction. Yes. If, you, so. if that's what you meant. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pop out because I was hidden and uh, I'm going to try and hit it with my new battle axe. Ooh, roll that 20. Even if it doesn't hit, does it still land on the ship? Uh, I've ruled that it doesn't at all because they're aiming for you. If it were to aim for the ship, it does. Like if it were um, to attack the ship And the, the thing itself. is, with my divine favor, since it's technically cast on me and not the ballista, it still does the 1d4 extra damage. Ooh. Because it's just if I hit with an attack. Um, so there's that. And this is my new battle axe. Let's see. Day 19 to hit. Okay. 19 and will hit. Yes. And Zerda doesn't have a shield, so she does use two-handed. I don't believe she has a shield. If she does, I haven't used it. Um... So then it's 1d10 plus 1d4. Then, uh, okay. That is eight, 11 damage. Okay. Um, I think that's it, I believe. Is it still alive? Uh, the thing, the small thing? Oh, no, no, she kills it. Slash into okay. I was doing some, some upkeep okay. stuff. Okay, well then, if if that kills it, well, I can automatically attack again, but also there's nothing else near us, so. Yeah. You hit a major. I just, if you feel like uh, hit major. I don't want to hit major. Do she it. likes me, and I don't want to ruin that. Um, so I just, it, <laughs> I jump out, kill it, and then go back behind the ballista. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. That kind of works. We do go back at the top of the initiative, and at this point, finally, the third ballista is finished. Guys, I, I finished this one if you also want to get onto it. All right, I think we're past that 10-10, but thank you. I don't know. Did I you did only one attack? Did I do that again? Brother, let's do it again. So that still happens. There's stuff still happens. Aiming at that the mono. A, that was her reaction attack, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
freaking out. Uh, 12 to hit, no? You're just hit me, no. Yeah. And the final one onto Salty at the hole. <gasps> That's a three to hit. Misses. Shit. Things okay. suck. Now we're at Salty. Well, you just did a fucking 360 no scope on this initiative. Um, <laughs> you say they're 100 feet away, right? At this point, yes, they're 100 feet away. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. How big are the things that, like, the. They are. Um, the ones that are shooting at you guys are medium, and there are mm. two more that are large. Large, you say? Large, you say? Yeah. Huh. Like, like why? I'm think I'm I'm thinking about dashing, double dashing, and just running and jumping onto one of them. Oh, jeez. Um, but that might put me in really bad spots. Don't do um, that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Um, I'll wait. Uh, I'll ready wait. in action. Um, to if they shoot at me. Uh, no, I'll I'll climb up the crow's nest. Um, get next to Romano. Can we both fit up there, or is it just one person? No, you can both fit up there. Yeah. I'll ready in action. Uh, if they uh, miss me or Romano, I'll uh, attack the attack the thing. Okay. All right. All right. So, Romano, it is your turn now. You got your buddy here, your pal. Hey, hey. hey. you're doing good, Romano. Good to My see you. Um, I mean. You can, I mean, they're, you, so they're probably going to be, like, up on us on their next turn, right? Probably. Probably. That, that's what I'm thinking. So. Okay, I will. Shit. I'm, I'm nervous I, about what these two other shit. large ones are, are going to do. How far away yeah, are the, the large ones? ones? They're all within 100 feet. They're all 100 feet. I mean, I could. Okay, you know what? I will hold my action to cast a guiding bolt at uh, first level at a creature that at the large one when it gets closer, like as it's coming up closer to our ship, I will then shoot at it. Guiding okay. bolt is 120 feet, isn't it? It is. Ooh. If it's, at a, if it's at 100 yeah, feet, I could can hit you reach it. it? I could hit it now, but I want to wait till it's coming aboard. Okay. Okay. Coming aboard. Um, oh. And then bonus action. I can only move it 60 feet, I think. Uh, no, I can only move 20 feet. Okay, then I'll just move the scythe to the side of where uh, it looks like they're kind of coming at us from. So kind of get to get near if they get on board. Understood. Major, up next, if that is your turn, is going to load the ballista. This, this is my nice. turn. Zerda. So, they're within 100 feet. That is correct. Line. Perfect. So, Perfect. this means, let me look at this spell again, just so I make sure that's weapon attack, not that. I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt at a big one. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I hit. So, seven. Seven? Yeah. <laughs> Your bolt no. does not guide into it, but Jeez. it guides away from it. Your rolls. I'm so mad. It's Her fine. and Bardish haven't been doing. Maybe, maybe the uh, ballistas have like a bad luck on them. Honestly, yeah. Fuck Jeffrey. Fuck um, Jeffrey. Okay. Well, that was my action. So, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna use my nimbleist cake to hide behind the <laughs> ballista again. <laughs> Quick question about range stuff. Since we're all collaborating on rule stuff, there's always two ranges. Okay. The bullets, that's yeah. 120 and 480. What is the 120? The second one's with disadvantage. Yeah. So for the, the 120 is the maximum range it can shoot without disadvantage. Past that, it has disadvantage. And past 400, it's ineffective. Okay. 
<laughs> so we haven't been doing that correctly, but hey, it's, you know, it's homebrew. Yeah, it's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. It's fine. What a matter. I know. I, I always thought this it was the other way world. around, like below you 120, like ranged weapons when you get too close or hard to hit with. I always thought it was reverse. Within five feet it is. Okay, yeah. so that's the rule then. It's, it's just it's within five fine. feet. They're, they're magical ballistas. It's fine. Oh, it's fine. like I said, it wouldn't matter. We haven't hit with any yeah, of them. Yeah, we, we haven't hit, so. I shot like, what, four times with it and didn't hit? It's true. Well, yeah. hopefully, after he reloads, he'll hit. Hopefully. Bar is just gonna reload, uh, and then yep. we're back out to the uh, the the altered bullets or whatever they are in this world. Which also, okay. do we know how many rounds it has been? I cast uh, seven. I cast divine favor on my second round, mm -hmm. but after ten, it's gone. So it has been six rounds since you've done that. Yes. There's a nice little okay. round counter on my screen. It's beautiful. So nice. I have four more rounds before it disappears. Okay, donkey. Okie dokie. Okay, so they're gonna do their shoot, shoot, shoot. Well, wait, hold on. How far? Yep, they're shoot, they shoot, were a hundred feet away. So, yep. so if they're they gonna move get closer to us. That's fine. And they are upon you. Okay. Nice. Below. So. So I shoot big boy. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Oh, uh, I believe in you. There's two. Are there's one on the left, one on the right? Which one's closest? They're both to the coming ship from is... the same direction. So uh, yeah, you can so pick which one. Closest. Yeah. Well, my the I'm one just that. Saying, this is my act, pick, pick my, my held action set, whichever one's closest, so. Yeah, I mean, the two big ones got to you guys first. The other three that I've been shooting are staying well, I, I'm back. hitting the big one, but I mean, like, which, I'm trying to pick which big one, whichever one's closest to the ship. Is what the I'm one's got a nice the bow one on, on the its left. head. Okay. The one on the what on its they, head? They literally have the same HP right now, so it doesn't matter. I know, but I'm just, it, it, it could come into play. You shoot you know, the left one. Know. All right, left one it is. The one that's closer to my, the front of the ship. From my guiding bolt was a feint. Wait, right. That's right. <laughs> Ooh, um, okay, got a plus to that. Uh, just a straight 15. That'll miss. Oh. <coughs> you guys are doing great. Uh, so the large ones, the first one's going to try to... How far? 15 feet apart. I'm okay, you on the back mono. It's okay. We so is anybody standing at the immediate... Um, you said starboard is left or which one? Starboard is right. Starboard is right. So who is port, on the immediate port. left of the ship, the port? My scythe. Okay. So I don't think it can reach you guys. It's gonna... If it it's not smart, it might think the scythe is an enemy. True. It's very it's very not smart. You know what? <laughs> the scythe is right next to you guys. This is 15 feet, and I don't think it's quite close enough to get to you. 5, 10. Nope, it is. Never mind. Okay. okay cool. So, uh, Major, it's going to try to a deadly leap onto it. Nice. Deadly leap. Squish it like a bug. Like a bug. Kenneth. What's up? So he needs to do if I attack DC from being 16. hidden, is that advantage or is that only rogues? Um, That's up to rulings, but I think it's advantage. So she fails. And it's going to have to take this many. Damn. What an idiot. That's strong. We are, we are going to die here, ladies and gentlemen. No, you'll be That's fine. No, we, we are. We definitely are. Don't worry. We're I've, going down with the ship. They're not entirely the same as regular bullets. No, no, it's fine. No, it doesn't matter. They're doing damage. We can't, we they can't hit. We can't hit. We can't hit for shit. That's uh, how it works. They hit, we can't, we die. So she takes yep. 18. Uh, she takes 18? Yes. She got hit. Oh, right? yeah. If I, I get hit safe. by one of those, I'm dead. Oh my God. Uh, it's yeah. the second big one. Uh, it can't reach Romano, thankfully, because you're way up there. You can only yeah, jump to the That is why I uh, stayed here. And <laughs> I don't think this one really has a target. Um, so it's going to try to... doesn't have any movement. It's going to hold its action for if somebody approaches the side. Uh, and then right. shoot, shoot, shoot. The other three as they are remaining <laughs> about... Um, they're remaining 40 feet away from you guys. All right. 40 feet? Yeah. yeah. That's fine. Uh, the first one misses its target, which was uh, major again. Second one's going to shoot for Ormano. Does a 13 hit? Nope. Okay. The final one's going to shoot for Salty. Uh, natural my one. My attack goes off. Oh, yes, it does. Uh, my attack goes off, and whichever one hits. Uh, or misses, rather. Mm -hmm. I'll do the natural one one, because fuck it. That's a miss. That's an 11. It, oh, I got an 11 be. to hit. Yeah. Uh, and now that you guys are really close, it seems like every time it shoots off one of these, um, its strength falters a bit more and more. Each time one okay. of these shoots, it gets weakened. Um, okay, Salty, you're up. All right. Hey, Amano, this might be dumb, but it's going to be fucking cool. You want to watch it? 
Yeah, I'm here for it, Captain. I'm gonna I'm gonna climb up on the edge of the crow's nest mm-hmm. uh, and like take out my uh, harp uh, my harpoon and just like fall and like stab onto uh, one of these guys. It is landed on there. Yeah. Um, hell yeah. I love that. You you go to jump and stab onto the one that attacked Major. Let's do yeah. it. Roll my damage. Roll, roll your damage, not my damage. Uh, 16 to hit. That will miss just barely. Ah, okay. Uh, I'm going to moxie. Uh, yeah, th- this is the cool part. Not not that other thing. This is the cool part of Mono, I swear. I'm uh, still watching. I'm going to do, do two more attacks against it with my fists. Okay. That's a natural three. That's gonna miss. Oh my and god. That's another natural three! I just. Whew, whew, just miss. Right, still, next, still next, waiting for next DM, go ahead and just start getting ready. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll still start waiting for it, <laughs> So I'm. So, the, the ship. I'm not, I haven't been on a ship on a while. It's it's a little wavy. It's, you sure. know. Uh, shut up. Yeah, you, the second you say shut up, Bardish was about to say something about like this. He's, he's Aww, gonna make funny. He's gonna make funny. Poor guy. Oh, he's gonna make fun. Uh, Ormano. Uh. Oregano. If I can, if I hit it, I can just punch it off. Also, cr- I failed to mention, pressure, but, but currently, um, Tintin is using the hide action. Good. Okay, gotcha. Sure, sure. Did That's what I would have told Ballista? her to do. She yeah, finished. It, it, yeah. Finished, yeah. She finished that one. Um. Does she have spells that she yeah. use to help us here? Okay, so I will first first bonus action. I'll move my spiritual weapon over to uh, the one that I guess that salty. It should be right next to it. Yeah, because you you positioned it near major. Yes, that's correct. This is the only one that's on the ship right now. Yeah, so I'm gonna attack that one. Um, make sure. So this lasts for a minute, by the way, since you got your. Okay. I think it's been there for two rounds now. Okay. All righty. Ooh, how does a math? Um, I don't like math. 17. That just hits. The first that hit. just hits, everybody. Well, no, Zerda did hit the flying. Finally. Zerda hit the flying one, but. 17 is what we're looking for. the magic number, everybody. Okay. Ooh, full damage of uh, a math. Uh, 11. 11 points of force damage as the scythe <laughs> stabs into this creature. Slashes through it, and it's like a, it's like a, well, it's bigger than a cow. It's just a sizable object for a scythe to slash through. And it's really satisfying as it gashes through the side. I don't know what these things, what kind of sounds these things make, but it's gnarly. Okay. Um, okay. The noise of a seal. Yeah. Then. And then. And then. And then. And then. And then. And, and then. you and. <laughs> oh, my soundboard. Otherwise, uh, uh, you know what? Yeah, yeah. You know what? Yeah, yeah. 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 I'll yeah. try it. My my DC's gone up one. You know what? This be my just testing the water. See if things can hit my DC. If I for still. Oh. Um. So I'm going to uh pull out my my I'm a, as I'm moving my hand past my the little dagger that I bought a while ago. And slides my hand just a little bit, and blood goes f- falling down onto the ground. Mm-hmm. And I will choose. Sorry, I will choose uh, the one that I just attacked, and the other big guy, and then the one that's in the middle of the small guys. And all three of those must make a Christmas saving throw. Damn. I'm casting. Uh, all right. Brain. Do you want me to do wholesale or one for each? Uh, just wholesale. do one for each since there's okay. only three of them. Christmas not their strong suit. Neither is intelligence. Yeah, I just got to tell you guys not. that. So for the first big guy, rolled a nat one. A nat one! Oh, no. It fails. So uh, the other big guy, let's roll for him. Not one. Ten. That's a fail. It's a fail. And the one in the middle of the uh, shooty boys. <laughs> That's a three. That's a fail. Okay, uh, so they all now fails. they must... Yeah, um, Roll a d4 and subtract it from any attack or saving throw that they make. <gasps> oh. Bane's good, man. Attack Fuck or saving yeah, throw. Okay, dude. shit, that's All good. I, love I, am, Bane. I am concentrating, though, so. Uh, if you can remember for me, A, B, and D. Those are the ones that are affected. Gotcha. A, B, D. A, B, a, B D. and D. A, B, and D are affected. Okay. Um, so that's bonus action, action. I will stay up there. 
Yeah, show up there. Good action, dude. Good. Yeah, that was probably the best spot for him to go, honestly. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I, I know my intuition. <laughs> all right, so we're going to go up to Major. And since Zara, does she look? Are you, gonna, are you going to shoot this or can I? By all means, have fun. She's going to shoot it. Uh, she's going to aim at... Well, the one that's on her is right next to her, so I'd be disadvantaged. She's going to aim at the big one that is below the ship, like right on it. <laughs> it's a 10 to hit. So what's this? God, these ballistas are fucking us. Well, nobody has good dexterity. No more ballistas, anybody. No more. But they do so much damage. Uh. Yeah, I know ballistas do a ton of damage, so I really wanted it's to like hit. It's like 3d10. Uh. Oh, my God. Okay. Um. <laughs> Shit. These things must really be faulty. Shit. Uh, Zerda, it's your turn. Okay. So, um, Ormano, are you hit? Have you been hit? A little bit. Okay, and then she's looking rough, right? Uh, her? She... She looks okay. Um, she seems, like, half bloody. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Well then, never mind. Um, but there's one, like, right next to us. Yes, it's right upon you. Okay, so earlier when I took my hide, I rolled a dirty 20 for yeah, stealth. Yeah, so it doesn't know you're there. Yeah. So you hit behind um, something. If I attack from that, so do I attack. get advantage or no? Yeah, you get advantage. Because I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to jump out and hit it with Max. Doobie do it. With Max. Doobie do. Max. Max. It's Max. Ah! I'm breaking everything. Um... That is a 16 to hit, I think. Just misses. Yeah. Wait. Oh my god. 16. Yeah, that that misses. Mm -hmm. Ay, yeah, yeah. Do you do anything else? Um, well, I had a whole plan for if I hit, so let me see if I have a backup. Jeebus crust. For me, it's a 50 50 if I hit or does not. Does anybody have dexterity? That's, that's, I just realized literally bad. none of you have dexterity. Not even. Well, Bartish does. Bartish does. Um, but he's still been missing. Bartish just rolls like shit. He does roll like Barkin. shit. The receipts are in there. Armando can see them. All okay, of you can see you them. It's in the what? game block. Since I can't fucking hit and Divine Favor isn't doing anything, I'm going to cast Shield of Faith instead. All right. Nice. Sounds pretty so good. So at least my AC is up by two. Yeah, at least your AC is up by two. Because, so. like, Divine Favor would have been great if I could literally hit at all. And Salty, um, you're no longer maneuvering the ship, so don't forget that the minus two is not with you guys, or the plus two yes, is not with you guys. You. Yeah, but now she does um, have plus two again. Yeah, I'm going to then uh uh let's see. So it's within melee of me now. So I'm gonna take my nimble escape disengage. Okie dokie. And run around to the other side of the ballista, so the ballista's in between me and it. <laughs> Gotta love it. Also, nice. at this point, your thing is dropped, by the way. Oh, I... Yeah, it yeah, dropped I anyway it, because yeah. I cast that other spell, and Look it's a concentration. Look at this efficiency! Damn! I know, like a machine! Alright, so it is now Bardish's turn, so I believe he's reloaded. I just want to hit... Time to shoot? I'm going to use the Time to shoot. Yeah. I'm not trusting my dice anymore. Does he hit? A 23 to hit the big guy hey, that's uh, nice, actually, he's dude. on a different ballista so he can shoot the one that's on board and try to kill it or if if or hurt it or whatever. I don't know. We'll see. Right. Um, ballista. Braxton's like, it's going to die. It is 3d10. Let's go. Yeah. Seems good. All right. Now there's a second roll that he has to do now just to make sure. Oh, damn. TNT Beyond just chucked those dice. That's pretty good. 12, 12 damage. That's, that's, yeah, that's it's average. Okay. That, that, it's a little below average, actually, so maybe it's not that great. A little below average, but, but hey, it's fine. Finally, these, these ballistas sword through the sky. Let's out a whelp. Huh. And then it gets hurt a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next that's up are these things. Like. Um, it's going to try to leap at Bardish since it just hit him. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, is this Bardish A, B, or D? This is A. This is the one that you have hurt. Okay. Ooh, so nice. minus D4. Four. Minus four. Yeah, minus a D4. A D4, four. not D4. Okay, well, it's a saving throw for this ability, so oh, he needs to make a strength saving throw first. Is it to... Oh, a, he, he's not strong. Is it to damage as well? Uh, he fails, so does the D4 happen to the damage die as well? No? Ew, saving uh, throw. It says... No. no. Attack or saving throw. 
How much damage is this? Oh boy. He takes 18 uh, oh. bludgeoning damage as it lands on him. Now these guys are just hopping on our ship. Bars is pretty strong like though. Frogs. Bars is pretty strong. He looks all right, he looks pretty okay. Does it leave my does it leave my attack of uh, opportunity range? How does does it does it provoke opportunity attacks? If it if it will only move as a part of, of its movement, range, so you yes. do get an opportunity attack. Okay. That's a twenty to hit, not an attack. That's gonna hit. Hey, hey, I'm hitting with my fist. Um, so I am going to punch it off the ship because I have crusher. How many? It moves them. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, I love feet. it. It's five feet. I love it. Uh, nine damage. I like this. Hold on. Nine so damage. wait a minute. Bardis doesn't take damage. Hold yeah. up. Wait he jumps over. You, you go. motherfucker. Get you get down. You duck for Boom. it. Come on and yeah, slam. And, and welcome to the jam. I, I punch it off the ship. Nine damage. It's once per turn. Holy shit. Okay. And it's looking bad. All right. Hell yeah. Just, like fall and roll off the ship. Yeah, pretty much, dude. Uh, and it goes, right, it also yeah. goes, huh. As <laughs> you hit it again, um, and uh, this one's gonna use its deadly leap to get onto the ship. It onto can't hit ship, anybody yeah. because of the positioning that it's in. Gotcha. Uh, so it's currently standing below Ormano, okay. where it lands. He's he's threatening. So he's like in the middle of the ship. Yes. Right? So he's ten feet okay. away from you guys. All right. Try to climb now, this, bitch. Ah. <coughs> In response to you. So next up is oh God. one of the shooty boys. Love it. Bam. <clears throat> is this 16, A, B, or D? This is C. Okay. So no. Uh, it's going to shoot to hit. Since Salty's over there, it's going to try to hit Salty. Uh, 16 to hit. Oh, that just hits. Hey, let's go. How much health do you have? Uh, with temp HP 60 right now. Okay, thank God. Uh, all right, roll low. 10 bludgeoning damage as it lands upon you. Or not lands upon what you, it shoots fuck? a boy into you and you've got a you've got a boy on your shoulder. Oh, disgusting. <sighs> Bites into you. All right, all right. Ah. Ah. Oh God, it is a little shirt, kind of. Uh, this is D, so it gets a minus to its attack. It's a D4 yes. subtraction. So we'll... Yes, it's a dexterity, so subtract four from this. So it would be 17 to hit, but it's aiming at... Uh, I believe it was going to go for... Your butt. Zerda, because she's popped up. Uh, yeah, so it does I'm just... I'm on the other side of the ballista now. 13 to hit, because of Ormano. Or minus d4. No. Yep, let me roll that. Yeah, I didn't write it. It's just, I got to roll it. Would, it. Even if it was a 13, it wouldn't hit, because my AC is 15 now. Well, I didn't actually roll the dice. I just, I just subtracted four. I actually did roll it now, and it is, it is a 15. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Big move. Okay. Oh. Um, this is fine. This is great. It is a D6. As it bites into you. Um, five bite. Damage. Okay. So, did I even do damage to you? Yeah, you did. Okay, cool. Not to me. Not 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 actual like damage. You just did to my temp HP. Oh hell yeah. Cool beans. Uh, Zerda got bit. Yep. So to die. Uh, next up it's, is bullet E. So we're gonna shoot. It's mad because I have my little bullet Major. during now. It's gonna miss. Oh yeah, it's like get that, get off there. Now you got two. Yeah. <laughs> Matching so set. Uh, this one misses Major. They're both Major. on one side though. Yes. Oh my god, that's cute. Uh, salty. I'm gonna yell out. All right, everyone, just stop with the ballista. You no, apparently can't hit. My mechanics. Just kidding. Uh, and I'm going to go and. There's none near me besides the one that is under Romano. I'm going to try and stab that one. Okay, yeah, cool. Actually, for I'm it. just going to try and punch it. Fuck it. Fuck it. That's going to be a 10 to hit. Uh, miss. Bonus action. Bonus action. Gonna bonus use my action. Last Moxie freeze point. To stick it up. To, uh, to do two <laughs> action to freeze a poopy. There's a bonus action. Take it up. Sorry. Okay, no, one of them was a nat one. The next one is a nat 20. Nat 20? Roll that double double damage. Nat 20! Uh, that double double damage. Whoa. Give me three d six, please. Hell yeah. Yuck, yeah, my guy. And every uh, every attack against that one has advantage. Now. Damn. Pressure. And this is and the full health one pushed, too. He gets pushed five feet in a direction. Yeah, he you can't push him off the ship at this point. 
Uh, you can get in close. Direction. Uh, uh, not great damage. Three, six, seven, eleven bludgeoning. Eleven damage. bludgeon. It all adds up. Yes. Uh, and every attack against him now has uh, advantage. That is for reference for all of you. Bullet B. Okay. All right. Just keep my man. Everyone, gang everyone. up on this one. Kill He's him. weak. Get him. He's weak. Uh, okay, Romano. That's my turn. Okay. Um. Hmm. Shit. How yeah. far is the one that he knocked off? Uh, it would be 5, 10, 15, 20 feet away from you. Well, how about not away like from me, ground. but how about away from my scythe? Oh, it's like 10 feet away. Okay, and it's like off the edge. Um, okay, well, I guess it, off I'll, the edge too, it'd be 20 feet. Because that's a good down. Sure, I'll move my scythe over to that one to try to finish it off. All right, roll hit what the advantage Romano. on that one. i thought so he got it on that one too no no he's saying you okay. missed the advantage no nah, that's a, this is a bonus action guys come on <laughs> oh, okay, okay uh that'll be 22. that hits for sure we're hitting now uh i can't remember this is a da yeah nice uh that'd be four points of forest damage that's a scythe chops through it again slashes through it ah and then I will. Let's get physical, crazy. Physical. Let's get crazy. fucking weird, man. Let's get nasty. Now you're thinking like Zerda. Now you're thinking with bullets. <laughs> um, I will. I wish I had bombs. Okay, let's try this. So I will. Phew, you know, get rope burns on my hands by oh. going all the way down. Take two D hundred oh. damage. No. <laughs> Uh, wipe it off quick, and then yeah, you gotta watch out for that. With the painful hands, I will uh, reach out and oh, touch the uh, the bullet B with advantage for inflict wounds at second level. Inflict yeah. that's yes. really yes. good. That's you're like I transferring the rope burn from yourself <laughs> to them. That's so I yeah. love I'm, infl that. I'm inflicting their my wounds <laughs> upon them. Share my okay, pain. good, 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 good with advantage. Um, twenty four. Whoa, oh, man. My other roll so, was a four. So, so much. You push it's this, really good. You transfer the rope burns onto it, and you see an imprint of the rope where you, both of your hands touch as it's like a searing pain into it. It looks extremely bloodied. Like, it's almost wanting to get the fuck out of here. But how much damage? How much damage, Ramona? How much damage? Oh, one fell! Oh, that was to hit. Wow. How long yeah, has it been since I used the staff? Like a week? Oh, no, no. It's a, not, 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 not enough, probably. Yeah, not, 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 not yet, not yet. Not I yet. know. So, damage wise. I'm just trying to keep track. 19 points of necrotic damage. Ooh. Statement still stands. It looks really bad. Perfect. Like, it's uh, on its last leg. As it uh, gets and burned. Uh, I'm just going. Ah! That'll be my action. Oh, yeah, my, watch my out. I got, I got some ointment for that when, you're, when we're done. Thanks. All right. And it's my turn. Going to major. I believe there still is one. No, that's the one that got knocked off the ship. So there's no. There's only one on the ship right now. Major can attack the one that we've been attacking with advantage. That is correct, Amundo. Correct, Amundo. So she's going to go over to hit it with add advantage. Major, roll me your. Hey, Crusher's good, guys. Crusher nat number. 20. Fuck oh. yeah, dude. Well, I'm just going to roll another die just to see if she gets another nat 20. Right, we cool. love that. She even knew that. Um, we love it. Slice it in half. I love that for her. Oh my god. So she's gonna roll her damage. Uh, her damn. So the first hit is gonna be a 14 on it. So she does 14 damage to bullet B. Nice. 14. She's gonna do another attack. <laughs> so the advantage. Good thing that was a seven. The second attack. 13. So it misses as she goes slish slash. Oh. It's a big target, but it's got some tough. I mean, she crit on the skin. first one. She it's did. forgiven. But if she crit on the first one, it's like she only did two hits, so she technically just did average. Wow. It's fine. Wow. Okay. Uh, True. Zerda? Okay. Let's see. Is there still one within melee or no? Uh, with you, no, but you can just move over 20 feet to get to the disadvantaged yeah. one. Yeah, I'm just going to 
move to the nearest Here one. Here we got some uh, easy pickings over here, Zerda. Easy pickings, easy chickens. And this is the one you did to where it's advantage on it? Correct. Yes. Okay, here, 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 here. Um, I'm going to... And we were scared, guys. We were scared. You haven't even killed jumps. one of them yet. Yeah, but two are almost who, dead, so I don't want to hear it. Who of my <laughs> people is within 30 feet of me? Um, Major and I think everybody except for Ormano because he's above. No, you went down. Everybody no, is uh, except yeah, for... Yeah, we're all here. Everybody? No, Tintin is okay. and literally everybody. Okay. Literally every Jamie, single person you get? is right here. 13 to hit. That misses. Oh, no. Even with advantage. Oh, yes, no. I rolled a two and an eight. Oh, Jamie. Your, your dice shell is going to be full today. Literally, I already have two, four, six, eight dice in the dice shell. Oh, my God. Have you hit one attack yet? One. Exactly one. Oh, man. Okay. I mean, I'm no better, <laughs> but... And then I use that um, shield of faith to protect myself, and he still hit. <laughs> nice. No. Yeah. Yeah. So what? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I mean. You done? Uh, you done? Um, Said Bardish. God. I'm stressed out. My butt is clenched. Oh, we don't need the commentary. Can I use? Just do this one thing for me. Okay. <laughs> I want to climb under this thing and use my nimble escape to hide. Oh, Jesus. He <laughs> has a minus closer. four to intelligence to do it. Okay. <laughs> I use his eyes. See what happens. Oh, wow. Better. I got a 15. <laughs> yeah. Um. Let me roll perception for it just to... Okay, yeah, yeah you're successfully hidden, and you have f full cover from the other ones. Great. <laughs> I'm going to roll that. Getting out four new dice. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, back up to Bardish, who... He's going mean, he to attack this one or attack the other ones. I mean, the captain said to attack it, so he's going to go for it. He gets advantage. Yep. Uh, so right. he's going to use his blades to hit. Both green, baby. Blades of Fury. Did he miss as well? Yeah, he missed. Hardish with advantage, my god. Oh wait, guy. advantage, I gotta roll another dice. Yes, yes, he has advantage. I just 30, pulled out 20. four dice. Woo! Nice. 1d6 plus four. Seven damage. It's, it's barely hanging on as he gets one his one arm blade. The one he's less comfortable with, it's his non-dominant hand, so it's kind of like not as good. Oh, okay. I nice. See. Slashes into it and it goes, Okay, oh, and it's still it is, kicking. It's still kicking. Just barely, please, it's hanging. Please. Um, on initiative count ten, I did. I should have done this before Bardish. Okay. Um, we forgive you. We forgive you. You guys, it's such a weird start, but it's exciting. I promise. There's a large yeah. rumbling that is happening, off to Great. your port, back where the cloud okay. came from. Okay. It seems like the ground is tremoring. It's more. Uh, this guy is going to go. Uh, we're going to do the, the, the bullets turn. So the one that fell okay. off, bullet A, who still has the minus four, um, is going to try to jump back on. So it's not a minus four, sure. but it's going to need to make a dex save um, for Salty. Sure. Wait, Salty, where are you? You're standing in the middle of the ship, correct? Yeah. Can't hit you. Okay. Uh, it's going to go okay. for Major again. So Major right, needs to do fine. a strength. Bam. And sure, that's what she's here for. She's she's another target ahead. Yeah, that's basically it. She saves. Nice. All right, so the one that has currently been surrounded by Ormano and Salty right now and Bardash at this point uh, is going to try to bite onto Let's do Salty. Yeah, I'm, I'm the meatiest. I'm they the will one not get a chomp. On it. 22 to hit. Yeah, that hits. That's a... Okay, I'm gonna do it. All right, yeah, sure, do it. Do it to me, man. I ain't afraid. How much health do you have? Uh, I have 50 right now. I like that he keeps asking that. 29 I know, I know. Uh, piercing damage. Woo! 
she, she. Uh, oh god. Twenty nine. As so. it tromps into your arm. So that's twenty five. That's twenty one. My uh, body button valve triggers because that's uh, I'm at twenty one. I was at fifty. Cause. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, it's yeah. I was at fifty, four temp HP, uh, which is twenty five, and then twenty five minus forty six is twenty one. So yeah, that is half. Um, that triggers, and I get some temp HP and all my moxie points back. Jesus. Okay. Uh, and then it is not doing hot like at all. So it's gonna try yeah. to run away at this point, which would prompt opportunity attacks from all three of you. Yep. Okay. I'm just uh, I'm just 19. gonna say I pulled out four new dice and I rolled them all. I got two eights and two tens. Jeez. None of those are hits. So, so give me let's your opportunity if, attacks I, if you choose to do we'll, so. We'll see if I, I get 19. one. Nineteen will hit. Roll me see your damage. No. <laughs> no, I don't hit. Oh my god. No, I got fifteen. Uh, eight damage. Salty, that is literally the number you needed. Nice. How do you and do I it? punch it? I you want to leave when it tries to jump away. Yeah, I uh, like grab it by its tail, and then with the momentum of me grabbing it and pulling it back, I just deck it across the face and then s- like throw it across the deck. So it's just on the deck now. And it plops onto the ground, catatonic, dead. No more jumping. Nice. No more jumping for you. More shooting though. More. <laughs> Fun. So Good. Uh, first one's gonna go it. at Major. She's visible. Zared is hiding. It's a four to hit. Um, and this is C, so it doesn't get the subtraction. This one's going to go for or mono. That's a six. Nice. And then the final one at salty. <laughs> God damn it. 18 to hit. Is that D4 yes, guy? Is that D4 guy? Oh, you, oh. no, that's C. Oh, oh wait, no, wait, that's, what? that's, uh, this was the third yes. hit, so that was E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was oh, the third okay, hit, so it was E. Okay, so, uh, it's only D6, don't worry. Don't, don't worry. I'm defined. Yeah, but then we have another guy to fight. Two damage. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. And that was another uh, salty. guy that landed don't. in front of us, correct? I'm just at this point like, get the fuck off my ship. Right, I'm gonna try and You're correct. So there's one that's now biting onto uh, the salty. Correct. Yeah, this is the one that's like biting onto me. Mm-hmm. I'm going to make uh, three tags. Oh, jeez. Yeah, uh, using a moxie point and my bonus action. Oh, that was almost a crit. Okay. Uh, 25, 19, and an 11. To hit 25, 19, and 11, everything except for the 11 hits. Yep, okay. 17 damage. 17 damage? That will... (laughs) You got a double kill, man. What do you do after you fling this other one off the ship? Uh, I don't think I... Okay, (laughs) I think, uh... Yeah, I fling that across the ship, and I just... Uh, knee this like just with it on it. Oh, you want some of me, huh? You want some, you want something to eat? Just keep like kneeing it in the Jesus. head until it like just limps off my arm. It's kind of no, a hard sight to see. Captain's Cam Salty's ship. Captain Salty, get the fuck off! And I throw it off. Damn. I throw it across the deck so it hits the other one, and they both pile on the deck. All right. Um, and then I will use my movement to uh, get cover from the from the shooty boys. Okay, perfect. Um, they can't see you right now, so I think you just hide. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll use my movement just to like just get out of sight from these guys. Perfect. Okay, Ormano. Currently have um, the three that are forty feet aside the ship, running along as you were there. Right. Um, is the other big boy dead? Yeah, both big boys are dead. Salty literally just killed both of them. <laughs> both, both big boys. Yes. Yeah. The one that my my scythe just attacked earlier? He killed both big boys. I thought Salty just killed one big boy in front of me and then a small guy that would bit him. No, it was a big boy that hit him. There's no there are no small guys on the ship. There, there was a big boy that was attached to my arm. I thought that one got shot at you. No. There is still one attached to me, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Like a small one. I did I did get shot okay. with one. I got confused. Um yeah, but there there was a big boy that I that tried to leave and there's a big boy that bit me for like that twenty nine damage or whatever. Yeah. Right. Oh he right. bit me. Um I also just realized that I cut my hand open with the the dagger and then did the, the slidey thing. So my oh, hand is God. not having a fun time. <laughs> oh, oh you're gonna shit. have to heal that, man. <laughs> um okay, I guess um 
I I don't know how many rounds it's been since I did my my spiritual weapon. Uh, you did it on round seven, and it's round ten now. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, so I will bonus action. Would you say it's within twenty feet of moving it the scythe further to hit them? No, they're forty feet out, so it would take a bit to get to them. But well, you can I begin doing it. Twenty feet. Oh, out yeah, 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 to yeah. Hit that guy, right? Absolutely. And then 20 <laughs> I'm just moving it farther and farther out away from us. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Um. Make sure it's still in range of me, though. Is that still within, would you say, 60 feet of me? Yes. Okay. I think that's right at the edge of 60. So it should literally be at 60 feet. Okay. Uh, it won't hit because that'll only be an eight. Nope. Um, and then I will. That was my bonus action. I'll just jump up and. With my hand that's not bleeding profusely, I'll run over and uh, tap Salty and cast Cure Wounds on him. Oh, yeah, you're getting me out of my, my bloodlust there a little bit. Thank you, mate. Uh, that'll be eight points of healing. Ooh, Ooh thank you, nice. sir. Hold my hand back and then also kind of crouch down next to him out of sight from Shooter Boys. Nice, nice. Uh, next up, we've got Major who finishes loading. I believe did she just shoot. No, she attacked. She attacked. She she's attacked got. She her, attacked. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so she's gonna go reload because she can't hit anybody right now. So she's gonna do uh, that's that. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, and then Zara, that's your turn. You're currently hiding underneath a dead bullet. Nice. Uh, salty. What's your hit points at? Twenty nine. Uh, with six temp. Twenty nine out of what? Uh, forty six. <laughs> I'm fine. I don't mind this. I'm at twenty nine out of forty two. So we're in the same boat. Nice. You are oh, in the same boat. You are in the same boat. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. What are you at, Ormano? What? How am I? You... I'm okay. Yeah. I'm hit okay. Once. And there's like nothing near us? Nope. nope. There's just the 40 out there. Well, there's a small guy and salty. It's true. It's not doing There's a small little guy on me. It's just, it's gumming me. Yeah. Oh, he's a little bit cute. Like keeping as the ship's mascot. Kind of killed it, hey. um, its family, so it's a little. My pupils oh, are uh, non-existent right now. Oh god, I'm so mad. Erga uh, I guess I'll just go to the little guy gumming salty, and I will try to hit it so hard that my battle axe breaks. You, as you're going to hit it, you look at it, and it actually seems really fearful. My lore for these guys is that the small ones don't know how to, like, they can't unhinge their jaw because they're not strong enough to unrelease the bite. Oh. So you're kind of hurting the defenseless well, boy. But you, yeah, Zara okay. does, it, does it. I mean, Well, if you, I see it and it looks yeah. cute, then my pupils get really big for a second. Oh. And a single tear rolls down my face. <laughs> <laughs> because it looks so much like a I weird mean, misshapen me. Oh. So I turn around. Uh, Are there any just... within 120 feet of us? Yeah. I'll try to, I'll try to guiding bolt it. I believe in you. Here's the nat twenty. Let's, Here's the go. Nat 20. Let's go. I'm rolling on my iPad because I have, uh, twelve dice in dice jail now. Jesus, my God. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Nat twenty. Let's go. Yes. There. Oh, I see oh. it. I can see it on my screen. Oh. That oh my will God. and. No. Indeed, miss. Oh my god. Everyone at home, that was a what? 13. I just I just don't understand what I did to make Tommy <laughs> hate me so much. Actually terrible. I thought the birds were on my side. Do you do, you do anything else? Uh I just I hide behind Salty. <laughs> no. Oh my I, god. I just that's at initiative I, count I just 11. Can't do anything else. Ormano, give me a perception. Okay. Do a perception for me, Ormano, please. You're the, you're the scout. You're the lookout. You're the crowsman. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Is that a 20 or a 1? It's a 1. I don't want um, my beard anymore. <laughs> guys what is happening here? Put your hand behind it. It's supposed to focus, you stupid program. That's why you put your it's hand a, behind it. It's a one, it. everybody. It's a one. Um. So weird. There, there you go. go. There's the one. So that's a thirteen. There you go. There it is. With your one, 
all you see is um what are what are the size categories? What also, are the size that was categories my last in this game? Huge slot. and what? L large, huge, gargantuan. So you see and huge is still massive. Yeah, huge is three squares, so fifteen by fifteen. So you see a huge mechanically, um oh, just oh. spherical blob rise from the dust. It's beginning to. Uh, and next up it is we're having a chonk or an episode Bardis' turn no we'll, I know we'll, we're getting there <laughs> um, Bardis is going to try to shoot one of the guys that are on the ground please <laughs> six to hit oh my god Bardis <laughs> okay um, and then the three little dudes are going to actually can you get opportunity attacks with your spiritual weapon uh no I don't think so. Okay. So they're going to about face and use their dash and um, layer action that I've been using before to move that 100, 200 feet away. Uh, and they're going to go towards the shape. Uh, Is this ship made out of metal or no, does it have wood It's like elements? wood and metal uh, on the appropriate Shit. parts. Okay. Never mind then. <laughs> um, and they begin to move towards this shape that you see, Ormano. And you. If you want, we can end initiative here because they're not going to do anything else. But Salty, it's your turn. I'm just going to... Oh, oh, they're running away. I think we did it. I'm going to look out. And, what the fuck is that? Can I do a perception check? Yes. Okay. The little guy's dead? Uh, <laughs> that's a 10. Little guy's just holding well, on to him. It's just holding on. He's my pet. Don't mess with him. <laughs> he's just, he, can't, he can't do anything right in now. In your shoulder. Um, uh, you do With the 10... You can't see too many features, but it is just a hum huge circular shape within this dust cloud that is slowly approaching you guys as these retreat, these three um, ranged bullets retreat towards it. So we're not outpacing it? Uh, you are going the same speed as it with the maximum speed that the with ship the can go. All right, well, um, fuck. And that's where we'll end the session. Okay. Okay. Put me out of my misery, please. Woo! <laughs> yeah, that, I realized I was going a, a, a long ways over, but it's fun. It's exciting. My yeah, only concern fine, is man. getting people, Ryan to bed. You were just drawing yeah. out my torture. <laughs> people people love chunky episodes. Uh, speaking about chunky episodes, if you want to hear some good chunky talking, uh, this is, you already heard this in the middle, roll, but go check out the Dungeon Crawl. Link hey, tree, I link guess, tree. Yeah, I don't know. Link you tree, hear this man. again. Link tree. Enjoy it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Link it. tree. Shout out. It's, it's not us, so it's okay. Uh, that was, that was yeah, fun. Thanks for, thanks for yeah. listening, everybody. Thanks fun, for man. tuning in. Uh, if you're watching us on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, I don't know, other other. Pod bean, I don't know. Uh, then we'll see you <laughs> next week um, for the next episode. Though you might want to tune in live, which would mean if you're listening to this on the date releases, on the it'll be the first, the first of July. Then on July, f no, I'm an idiot. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> no. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's let's wheel it back a little bit. Get a lot of myself. Oh my I skipped God. a week. Uh, it'll be on June 25th. Will be when this or June 24th is when this episode releases, and you can watch us live on June 28th at twitch.tv/dungeonbrawl. Uh, 